There we go. What's going on, everybody? So Ritzia sent me a link to a TikTok. I was talking about um this new thing on Streamlabs called Sprout 2. Supposedly it's a better use as a source for your VTuber model. It takes up less PC usage. You all probably know this and I'm just late to the game as usual, but yeah. Oh, of course the ad. Oh, that was fast. Okay. Welcome back, chat. But, uh, Ritzia sent me a... A link to a TikTok that's talking about, uh, Sprout 2, a source for, uh, Streamlabs. And apparently it's a better version than using game capture because it, like... Wait, this is computer usage or something like that? I, I really don't know how that works. I didn't think like that would matter so much. Like picking out what source would, you know, for a particular thing. I thought it really doesn't matter so long as it works, but I guess not. All right, I'll just take their word for it. Gonna find out Wi-Fi issues and play Genshin again. Alrighty, Panna. I hope you get your Wi-Fi back. Teach it a lesson for bullying you. Faye, how's it going? Joey, can we give a shout out to Faye? You're missing out on enhanced power for Don't ask me again. There, pet. No, it's okay. Hey, speaking of Genshin. Felt up to do the shooty things. Yeah, that was fun. Hey, secret level. How are you? Thank you, Joey. You're amazing as always. Oh, congratulations. You're jogging right along there. I'm That's doing impressive. good. Great work. Not sure if what I saw on TikTok at one point was a spoiler or not, yeah. so. Or just the Genshin community memeing. So, just to play it safe, I'm gonna do some story catch-up. And try to be up to, more up-to-date with, like, everything. Story quests and main quests-wise. Because I feel like the story quests have an impact to the main quest, even though not really. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna hop back to it. Yeah, people are going super nuts, and I, and I get it. Yeah. I won't hold it again, against them too much, cause he, yeah, I am behind on my. It has been out for quite some time, and I'm just behind on like stuff. <laughs> Getting all the people you want to support in one tab. Ah, Joey. True bestie. So right now, well, right now I should get my dailies out of the way, shouldn't I? And get Confront Storm Tower out of the way, because that's solo anyway. Time to begin work. I just realized I could have switched her out here. Oh well. Alright, trying to drill through Devalin's health. 
with Gang Ganyu. <laughs> Gang you. I did on my gun. She's just a cannon right now. I call her my glass cannon. Ah, that caught her. Shot right there. Will she be returning soon? Um, I'm not sure because they did did a rerun of her at some point, so it, it unfortunately might be a while for her to come back again. Where in the Sam Hell are my there you are. I want her, I know. I want her again too. I want her to like, get her to C1 at least. I think I did try, but it no luck. Something of a luxury, but I when love listening to the out. rain from the courtyard. They were so mean. They put Ganyu and Klee on the same banner. It was like, fuck. I want them both. Oh, the sun's out. When did that happen? Get back sucrose. I, I, I can sucrose do it. Or, hmm. I'll ensure your I'll safety. Oh, right, right. Let's go do more of a gay line. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Take it easy. Gotcha. Thank you for fighting with Gail. Quietly now. Game's up. Promise over. I don't typically do archers. 
Normally, I wouldn't either. It just happens like all the characters I like happen to be archers. <laughs> like, it would have been awesome if uh, Kale was a sword user and not a bow user. <laughs> Okay, I'll be lurking cuz the doggo, lol. If you need me, let me know. I'll come a running. Alrighty, Joey. Thank you for the lurk. Tell Enox I said hi. Oh, I needed that one. Help is on the deer. Help is on the way. <laughs> That was a fail. Alright, this one I know how to do. I say as I fail. Oh god, that involves talking, doesn't it? Oh boy. Gosh dang it, <laughs> what? I'm talking about hand me throw. <laughs> oh, I'm so I didn't know you had an actual dog, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, Lon. I guess I can't use you. But I can use you. Yeah. You love all doggos? Yeah, doggos are nice. Until the owner says they don't bite and then they bite. Those are the worst. I don't think I've ever talked to this guy though, so I'm actually interested in what they're saying. Oh no, it's the hide and seek kids. Alright, I like I like this one. Come on, brother! This way! We haven't seen that big house, have we? Take a slow for root. <laughs> not I'm not, I give him that point. <laughs> I kinda want to though. Or you'll fall again. You too, Luffy. Your boss says that you're ill health, so my catch a cold. I can't even do this straight. I'm sorry. Your brother's such a nag, just like mom. Just like my mom. I know, right? You too. We meet again. Hey, it's you. Well, we're not playing hide and seek this time. Oh, really? I was looking forward to that. More precisely, we're done playing. And we got an earful from Miss Nor. Nor? Nour? Two. Hold on.
there. <laughs> I can't read. She's always so serious. No, wait, no, that's the girl talking. <laughs> well, you got a deep voice now. She's always so serious when she's at work, lecturing left people left and right. And I gave her biscuits in the past. Oh god. You noticed the... <laughs> you noticed the update I had on the glasses, huh? Instead of 10 minutes, it's uh, 30 minutes now. So enjoy this reading. Or lack thereof. Oh shit, I should have put a 30 minute cooldown on it just to make sure people don't waste their points. Shit. I gotta remember that next time. Glasses off and start. I don't remember if I read this already. Oh yeah, 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 I did. did. Well, whatever. We were tired anyway. I was game like Veru and Orel <laughs> around. Uh, I would sound out their names more, but even with my glasses on, I didn't really practice. And now that I can't see them, <laughs> I'm really gonna fuck up. Around to gift something delicious. Would you like to join us in our, uh, what do we call it? Surprise, I can see that. A stroll. Yes, a stroll. Come with me. I completely forgot their voices, too. It's because I was so focused on, like, my lack of reading. Let's head to the plaza over there. I want to see the lantern. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's fountain, but I see lantern. Well then, bad the way, miss. <laughs> All right then. I'm pretty sure it said lead, but it, it really didn't look like lead. So I guess even with all oh my glasses, it's shortening words too. Let's head over to the thing past the fountain, where our aisle very peaceful. <laughs> oh god damn it! Oh, I can't even see the thing on the minimap. Okay. I can press V. Thank you for the lurk. Whoever that can have one of my mods give them a shout out. I'd say hello to and who you are, but I can't read right now. My glasses are off. Do you have like some sort of like a uh, indicator on screen to show that I'm, I don't have my glasses on? It's a bunch of skins that are... I'll have to go looking through the hero uh, stuff. Think... No! Y'all let her revive! God, what is with... Mm. Real quick, I'm gonna pause the clock and I'm gonna look Salty up with my team peoples. Fun tonight. Like, this is gonna put us in overtime. We could easily cut them out of overtime. You try my meatball. are perfect.
All right, I'll put that there. And then add image. Wait, is that something else? I think that's something else, whoops. The name of the source? What? Oh, duh, I'm stupid, that's what. I'll probably make my own, like, better one, but for now, I'll just use, like, a stock image. map is there isn't it uh where do i put you sorry plushy thread or maybe here oh actually oh, on the hoodie yeah why not There. Now people know why I suck. <laughs> I open up Genshin again and resume. Wow, I'd like love to jump in and turn water or describe fountain. <laughs> I really am just reading as is. I can't even see that because it blends with the legs. I saw the fountain. I had a doll. A bunch. <laughs> like they're scratching their head like, what the fuck are they saying? <laughs> and that'll get you... Oh wait, this is deep part And that'll get you scolded for sure. Just watch I from outside, please. Who is Varol again? Was it her? Or was it you? No, I think you're Lovi. So uh, it's the other guy. You're a innocent void type, so. But if the fountains aren't for people to play in, then why have they here? Why are they here? Okay, I, I can make... I can make out that much, right? They might look... okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can only look at them, then they are uh, just peels of ordinary water. Nothing to them. This is no ordinary fountain. Wait, it's her. This is no ordinary... What voice did I give her? I don't think I gave her one. There's no ordinary fountain, you know. But, with what Dad did, the mountain isn't ordinary fountains. What was it that he can't again? He can't do again?
get used to this. This is gonna be for like another 24 minutes. <laughs> Quoting someone. The main purpose of the city benefactors projects in the cloud of fontaines, fountains, is have they they have to be decoration issue in a little fashion. I'll try to like guess the words faster so I'm at least more fluent in what the hell like I'm seeing anyway. Mr. Delvor was explaining this to me. Ha! Huh. And even the, uh, it sounded like my father book there. No wonder he likes them to are <laughs> I are on? He always had they that stack of I said we're gonna be more fluent and I I'm like more dumb. Uh books <laughs> I don't even that doesn't even look like a word to me. These are fucking hieroglyphs. I don't know what. That's what I see. You. Ah, oh, please stop this. I'm debating reducing the time. I didn't understand a word you said. <laughs> Fitting. But I had my brothers. Hold on, let me drink. Killing the moment here. Again. Love lets head monster place to play. I mean, you don't have to study. Unhappy in once might. <laughs> All right, let's go see Stone Utter Place. Let me think. The the steam. Oh, Steambird. I was gonna read Station Bird, but it's Steambird, so I know what they're referring to. Steambird should stall be open. Let's go over there. How am I doing, guys? How am I doing with the reading? Where do I go? Oh. Too lazy. Wait, I could have. Ah, fuck it. I got wood from that. I forgot about whacking the trees to see what type of wood you get, but now that I grabbed it already, it probably told me what kind of wood it was. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. Uh, something the steam bird is... Doesn't it look at that spirit, really? A most ordinary place, you. Wow. As they're really... Do have a machine bird here. Cool. Oh, they really have a machine bird here. Cool. Rather than trying to read out each individual word, maybe I should just try to interpret what they're saying instead. Uh... 
Uh, right? My letter came early. We should purchase a newspaper. The authors should, uh, yeah, like, um, what should I, what it, what's it called? Paraphrasing of what I'm, what's going on in the, this. Okay, so something about the steam bird. The newspaper. Something about pieces in a book and beeps he calls it fade with and soundings and something he even reads them all at once paraphrasing Am I close? Am I getting better? Am I even more off than I was reading each individual individual word? We don't really like reading that much, though. We just need you and him. And that is nowhere close now that I'm looking at it. Jesus Christ. And where does it mean? It, uh, is this fun for you guys? Simply put, review. All right, so something about a review. Express from their own perspective. The girl's name. Oh, her father. Developed something. Research? Research into Fontaine? At the time, they called... I feel like my eyes got worse. I'm seeing Neverwinter, but that could just be my D&D &D brain. Who wishes... Few fuse on the steambird. Yeah, and he. God damn. Can we just go to the gameplay already, please? And resolve all of, well, everything. Sometimes it'll. Sometimes it'll think of something. Uh. I think there's only two lines, but I, I'm seeing three lines of dialogue. Uh, something about a dream. Eat wine? Maybe it says while. Drinks. Huh. You can make... Mora, just by giving your opinion? Yeah, pretty much. That and... With a salary... Are they really explaining, like, every each individual detail of how the Steambird works? Are you fucking kidding me? I just happened to pick the quest that's an autobiography for your redeem. Follow some principles if you want. If you want a review that others will interview. Um, um, well, I didn't want hungry. Mr. Lewis told me, uh, smiling. Built fruit and dry comic. <laughs> I 
I have no idea what's going on. I'm just assuming that with the words I did make out, they're talking about the steam bird and what they, what they, what they do. Oh yeah, and one for brother shop that I I give up. You two. Holy shit! I could play. I was there for so long the cooldown on my gadget reset. My god, what is this commission? Mr. Lois is a few serving of bowl fruit flavored dishes. Ah, if it isn't Lovi. There were many people. There were many people here. Basically, what that said. Paraphrasing. But but I told you about this a while ago. So don't. I ever brought some impressive. No, ingredients with me. I know that says sigh. I'm sorry. I'm seeing three lines of dialogue, but... I don't know if it really is or it's two. I don't want to cheat and squint. Unless I'm like reading chat or something. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll squint for chat, but... Beyond that, I want to stay true to the memes here. Please do what we can do with the house. Alright then. Thanks, Mr. Lewis. Are you just missing something, Lovi? Well, if you can provide me with some, I could make the same right away. I do have some other business to... I business left over. Yay, you're awesome. You're just awesome. Thanks. I'm very sorry. It seems that we always trouble you something wherever we meet. No need. I'm no need to the be so I I don't know All right then I need to be very wary from now on from you Mr. Delrue says that I'm I'm too solid uh, booming reviewer. Oh, Jesus Christ, just get on with the gameplay, please. <clears throat> Never mind that. I'll watch you. That says built? We're counting on you. Okay, I can make up that much. Please take whatever you need and shut the fuck up. Please let that be the last bit. You should do. Please give me a moment. And we're done. Is right away. Nice lack, all of you. <laughs> Work, all of you. They're great. Oh, and RUL. Don't tell my father about this, or he'll be... Guilty? Oh, make me feel guilty. 
Eh, don't worry about it. I don't... I doubt Mr. Delarue is all that intelligent in... <laughs> in holes. <laughs> what? You doubt me? You just eat so we can make uh, yourself out. Um, in that case, I, I'll help myself. Come on. Swimming this time? I can recognize that hee hee at the end. Um, Mr. Delarue, something about labor? Can you shut the fuck up so I can play? Wait, you can't do that. Mom was. <laughs> Mom was hammered? I, I doubt it says that, but. Oh man, in my eyeless position, it, it seems that way. I feel like I'm losing brain cells the more this goes on. Every time he drinks coffee, he will do- Why are you giving me your life story? I do not care. What the fuck is this? I know the gist is we have to go to the steam bird. That we're not doing hide and seek. We went to the steam bird. Now we're going here for some sort of product. To assist in some sort of product. But all the while giving me backstory on all this irrelevant shit. I'm getting salty, I'm sorry. He even goes here to... Process? Work? I made out work and study. Alright, so they're working and studying. Is this the... Jobs, I guess he mentioned for running. Oh, Jesus Christ, the work of a relevant some seems to say. Please let that be it. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Thank you for completing today's commit. So that was my takeaway from that commission. Something about the steam bird. And something about Lovey's father. They all they always brought up Lovey's father. And um They made a pit stop just for like some sort of product or helping someone with the product. But to what end? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, like, how do you go from the fountain to the chain of events just don't add up, no matter Ad Astra Abyssos. how I try to piece Welcome what to I Welcome to the Adventurous together. Guild. I did all that and there's no BP thing. God damn it. I wouldn't have covered that then. I don't know which is New Villette's quest. So I'll just track it through here. Thankfully, 
there's there's voices in this. Wait, did I not track it? What? So quick recap on um New Villette's story quest. Apparently we're looking into a case that involves melazines. And I remember at one point, like when we went to one of the fountains, we relived some of New Villette's old memories. Where basically like the people were kinda sus of the melazines because they just met for the first time. They don't know what these creatures are. And I think it cost one of the Melazine's life because one of them was trying, just trying to help, but the people w weren't having it. And then in, for like revenge, the, some guard decided to, <laughs> to kill all the people that were involved in some way in her, her death. So we're going to see what this is about. Now with that knowledge, now we need to come back and... What exactly? I don't know. Oh no, don't tell me this is reading. There has been... Severe... Span within... Despite... this. Security? No, da -da. The suspects have confessed to their crimes. Oh, these are just like the old cases. We we're sorting through the cases at one point, so we just have to like find the right one. In which case, let me not even bother reading that. Because I can't see it, I'm probably clicking the ones I already read so far, too. Which sucks for you guys. Oh my fucking god, which one is it? The smuggling case was solved by the joint forces of the guards and the Marechaussee Phantom. This is the one. The list of involved suspects should be... Ah, found it. What does it say? The principal offenders Domenico, Inica, Yuna, and others have been caught. They have been sent to the fortress of Meropede following trial. Those with close connections or mutual interests with the offenders, but who did not participate in the case, will not stand trial. Among them, surveillance of Essain has ceased on account of his good behavior. All other personnel remain on our watch list. So many names! Is the one who sent that threatening letter to Kiara on the list? Yes, there is something suspicious about Essain, to be precise. It seems like he's closely related to the core members of the smuggling case, and he moves around without much restriction. Now with that, glasses are back on. Thank you, April, for the lurk.
give you a shout out. I don't know if I gave you one earlier, but anyway, let's go off. So let me click this off. Should we tell Navia about this? Monsieur Nivellet, someone claiming to be from the Spina du Rasula just checked in with us. He said, and I quote, <clears throat> We have located the suspect, they're chatting at the cafe. Huh? How did Navia find them so quickly? We've only just figured out the suspect's name! I too am perplexed. The cafe isn't too far from here. We should head over and take a look. I think I should have done that ahead of time. Like paraphrase like what they're talking about rather than trying to read each individual word of what it looks like to me. I don't know which is more fun for you guys. <gasps> so I'll be sure to get some feedback from people to see what's more entertaining. who have had recent dealings at the Marachose Phantom. They're usually hidden in the flu of Zandra, but I sent for someone to invite them over. Invite them over? Exactly. Now, I heard there's great coffee here, and so I asked them if they'd like to come and have some. Yeah, it's our pleasure to be guests of the Spina di Rosula. <laughs> I've wanted to have a meetup like this for ages. Uh, Very convincing. <laughs> Off. Yeah. But, oh well, let's get back to business. Is there anyone called Essa here? Yes, uh, that's me. You're Essa? Yes, yes, Monsieur Nervilet. Did you write that threatening letter to Kiara? Um, uh, <clears throat> I, I did, but I, I was just following orders. Orders from whom? Dominico. He was my boss. I couldn't disobey his orders. Dominico? Where is he now? The fortress of Meropede. Well, uh, I'm afraid even the Spina would have trouble looking into that place. Yeah, I feel like I move the dialogue faster than they get on, than the auto does. Looks like you'll have to make the trip yourselves. This was as much as I could do. You've done more than enough. I am extremely grateful for your help. Leave the formalities for later. You should find Dominico first. If he really is the one setting up the conspiracy, it'd be best if he's exposed as soon as possible. All right then, let's head to the fortress right now! <laughs> Definitely more fluent and faster. Wait, hello? You're not gonna give me the other part of the quest? Ah. Character is currently another quest, it cannot have beauty tells. I figured. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do back to the main story a little bit because apparently they're busy. That's what happens when you like accept every quest. Please sign here. This document will be effective immediately upon signing, and you two may exit the Fortress of Meripede via the regular channels. It's been so long since we've been to the surface. Let's hurry up and. 
Uh, what's happening? Are you okay? <sighs> I'm fine, thanks. But I wonder what that tremor was just now. I wonder if the waters erupted again. Oh my god, DMs. Ah, it's Joey's doggo. Let's go ask the Duke. Good to see you two. Is there something you wish to see me about? Yeah! What was with that earthquake just now? I really like his VA. Ah, that. The tremor didn't originate from the seafloor. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. Over the years of serving as the warden here, I have developed a sense for distinguishing between what occurs on the surface and what occurs underwater. Besides, the seal that Monsieur Neuvillette set in place won't fail so easily. So, the fortress is okay? If you recall our last incident, if there really were a problem, there would be crowds of inmates in a panic right now. Huh, you've got a point. Okay, seems we need to get back up to the surface and ask about what happened. Uh, by the way, do you know what day it is today? Hmm, I believe today is this month's pipe cleaning day. Wait, seriously? Actually, today is the day we say goodbye to the fortress. Ah, yes. Have you completed your release papers? Yep. Uh, it's you two. Uh, are you leaving now? That's right! Today is our last day in prison! But now that Paimon says that... It doesn't feel like we were confined here. It's actually been pretty nice. Yeah. A lot of people helped us out, for sure. Hey, Mawile, how you doing? Just dropping in to say hi and give hugs. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well too, Mawile. Thank you for dropping, stopping by. I'm gonna give you a shout out. Let's bring you to the table. It's a heart container. All right. Three with Legend of Zelda. I'm not turn down a heart container. Yes! Yes! Whoa! 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 And got a penis. All right, I'll take the penis. <laughs> right. I know that feeling of getting a loot. Oh, it even says it, like, on hiatus until the 31st. Wow. Streamlabs does everything. I don't know if you guys could see it, too. Or it's just on my screen. I'm not too bad. Just trying to survive the holiday season. Almost done. This is my last week of peak season. Alrighty, buddy. I'm glad you're surviving, man. Wouldn't be the same without you. So hang in there, alright? Oh, yeah. Paimon feels fond of this place now. Well, then be sure to come back and visit. I'll miss you. I kind of want to clip a... Just... Paimon saying we're finally out of prison. There's something about that high-pitched and cheery voice just reading that line out loud. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of amusing to me. If you've signed the release papers, then you're free to go. The guards will escort you out. 
Oh, I wonder if it's she's involved. Because she's a Melusine, so... Maybe she'd be involved in the story quest. You're not going to see us off? Just a quick heads up, the clip volume was kind of loud. Might want to check it later when you get the time. Okay. Thanks, Mawile. <laughs> I knew you'd ask. All right, sure. Let's go. Well, you actually agreed. Uh, no worries, you must be busy. Paimon was just joking. Ah, so you do have a polite side, I see. <laughs> After being down here for so long, I imagine you must feel like you're lacking companionship. Shall I come along too? No, that's alright. It's not like we'll never visit again. Yeah, don't worry. We'll come back to see you. Uh, Paimon really likes the cafeteria here. The chefs sure do know how to make good grub. I hope you won't be here as convicts the next time I see you. We'll do our best to stay out of trouble. Well... It seems our work in the Fortress of Marathine is finished. That's the end of another chapter in our journey. And since Nervalev was the one who asked us to come here, we should probably go report to him now. Next up, the Palais Marmonia. Are we not going to talk about like what's going on in the surface that caused that little quake? You're going to see Monsieur Nervilet? <laughs> Please pass on our kind regards. I'm sure just your regards will do, no? Hmm, I believe it would be the polite thing to do. You're right. I've heard the Palais has been terribly busy these days. Tell him that I hope he hasn't been overwhelmed by the recent string of troubles. Ah. So now I can continue. Unfinished comedy. That's all right. Welcome to the Fortress of Meripede, dear esteemed guests. Just to uh, make sure, like, we're doing a new Villette story quest right now. We switched quests. Because I know they said, like, oh, we should go meet up with new Villette, and then just this happens. It seems so out of order, so. Yeah, just in case people are confused. We're back! Oh, and a greeting from none other than the Duke himself! Guess we made a name for ourselves at this place. <laughs> this isn't anything new. I figured you had important matters to discuss when the two of you, not to mention the Chief Justice, showed up. Let's assume we've gone through the pleasantries and cut right to the chase. Hmm. I do remember a thing or two about Dominico. He once attempted to round up the other inmates and instigate a protest. Who does this guy think he is? Uh, Hyman hopes nothing came of it. He once attempted to, I said, meaning that it was over before it even started. And now he's threatening Melazines, is he? To be honest, Dominico doesn't seem like much of a conspirator. The fact that the three of you bothered to personally investigate raises a flag. Is there something else going on behind the scenes here? Uh, he's got the same concerns we do. I am concerned about this incident because something similar has occurred in the past. I wish to meet Domenico in person and have my questions answered. Yeah, it's all very personal to him. That's an easy one. Let me think. I think he's at... Oh, did I hear someone say Melazine? What happened? Zijuin! A Melazine named Kiara received a threatening letter. Yeah, and we're investigating. The person who threatened her seems to be imprisoned here. Really? Is Kiara gonna be okay? There's no need to worry. Clarand is protecting her as we speak. <sighs> well, that's great. But if the criminal's still... Is there anything you can do about this? Ah, head nurse. Do you require me to personally deal with the criminal? Rithesley. Okay, I get it. I'll bring Dominico to you. 
That's your only demand, correct? Think of it as more of a humble request. I'm here on my own accord, not to formally transfer a criminal for trial. I urge you to set aside any concerns. Thanks for the trouble. Consider me in your debt. Whoa! If Paimon were the Duke, Paimon would take this chance to ask for something really important. Well, were I still a criminal, I'd probably ask for a lighter sentence. But I'm sure Monsieur Nervillette would reject that. <laughs> but enough jokes. I'll look for Domenico and bring him to you. Make yourselves at home. Our dear head nurse has mentioned you quite a few times, so I'm sure she has a lot to say. Please come with me to the infirmary. Ah, and watch your step. There's some pretty dark areas, so make sure you don't trip over anything. I mean, we've been here before. I don't know why she's telling me about this now. We're pretty familiar with the place. Now that I think about it, I can leave this place soon. Huh? Is she part of this quest, or...? I'm Oriole, a member of the Mutual Aid Network. Is there something you need? Yeah, because she's voiced, so she has to be part of this quest. Or... no? Okay. What do we have here? Ooh! here for a moment. Oh, and would anyone like anything to drink? Mm, Paimon's not that thirsty, but thanks anyway. Thirst is a warning sign that you're dehydrated, which means you have to drink up even before I'll bring you some tea. Oh, I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. <sighs> Typical Sijuin. Concerned about everyone's health as always. Uh, why aren't you two saying anything? The criminals we passed by earlier. Oh, that's why I missed. I didn't pass by the other one because I think we took like the shorter route. So yeah, I missed out on the other one. My bad. You noticed them too. The badges they wore on their chests looked quite familiar. Familiar? Uh, Paimon didn't even realize they were wearing them. But if both of you say so, let's go ask them about it! Paimon and I will go. Not exactly a sight for sore eyes around here. That's not a bad idea. I will stay here and wait for news from you. Anything you need? The badge you're wearing. Oh, this? Are you interested in joining the Mutual Aid Network? The Mutual Aid Network? Oh, don't tell Paimon you're another shady organization like the Beret Society. <laughs> the Beret Society? Oh, you mean the group that was dissolved a while back. <laughs> Rest assured, we're completely different. Okay then, what does your network usually do? We have a very long history, going back as far as 400 years ago. We have never had many members throughout our history, nor do we have much of a reputation, but everyone treats each other like family. Helping each other is our purpose. At the same time, we seek to maintain just dealings as much as possible. Sounds like a pretty neat organization! <laughs> 
All we want is to defend ourselves. None of us have ever committed serious crimes, and we're not especially powerful either. We're at a natural disadvantage here in the fortress, but people won't give us a hard time if we stick together. They seem chill on the outside. It's a matter of... What Interested in joining the mutual aid network? If you'd like to learn more, here's our flyer. Help each other. Do all you can to further justice. Do not detest just judgment. The above are the three principles of the mutual aid network. All are welcome to join and membership is free. There are no compulsory group events. The mutual aid network encourages members to do what they are able, including but not limited to cleaning, exercising, tutoring, and studying. It is hoped that all mutual aid network members will, during their time in the fortress of Meripede, face up to the crimes they have committed. Encourage each other, support each other, and welcome the future together. Our slogan may have evolved over the centuries, but our goal has remained unchanged. Here, this book is for you. You're welcome to come and sign up anytime. Uh, where's the book? There we go. Hmm. You two look kind of familiar. The badge you're wearing. It's the symbol of the mutual aid network designed by our first president. From what I've heard, it's based on something called a Medal of Peace. <laughs> I've never seen one of those medals for myself, though. Medal of Peace? The first president of our network was an amazing person. Powerful as he was, he never used his strength against anyone. He encouraged the weaker criminals to stick together and look out for each other. All of us have a lot of respect for him. We should have gathered enough information. Let's head back and talk to Nervalette. Did you manage to gather any intel? Mm-hmm. The people who wore the badges belong to an organization called the Mutual Aid Network. According to them, the badge's design was inspired by the Medal of Peace. Have you seen any of those before? I personally crafted two of them myself. They were awarded to Carol and Vautrin. Carol's medal was destroyed in a fire. The only one that remained should belong to Vautrin. was inspired by... Monsieur Nervillette, His Grace has requested your presence in his office. He's found Dominico. Hmm. All right. Let us talk to him first and get to the bottom of this situation. Mm, sus that they cut off that key information there. They're inspired by metals that Nuvalet created. Alright. I feel like I lose stamina faster lately. Allow me to introduce this fine gentleman, Dominico. Why don't you explain everything to him? N Nervilet? What, what do you want? What are you going to do? Kill me? Calm down. I merely want to ask you a few questions. Was it your idea to send that letter to a Melusine? Uh, I... Uh... Essain has already confessed. So there really isn't any need to keep hiding. Oh, that idiot! I can't believe I trusted him! Let me ask this another way. 
It was your idea to send that letter, correct? <sighs> yes. Who is pulling your strings? What? Y you're not trying to frame me for something I haven't done, are you? Hmm. Hmm. It's best if you realize the gravity of your situation. The Chief Justice of Fontaine has been personally investigating your case. I assume your previous attempt to incite unrest at the Fortress of Meripede has something to do with this as well. I... I admit I acted on impulse. I'll tell you the truth. But before that, you must ensure my safety. So there is more to this. I can do that. You see, we're all reasonable people here. I only intended to do some small business at first. Someone contacted me about delivering some goods and promised me a generous sum of more in return. After making a few trips, I was suddenly approached by the Marichaussee Phantom. They accused me of smuggling prohibited items, and I was put on trial. But I refuse to accept any of that. The ignorant can be rightfully absolved from guilt, right? Well, I suspect that someone got me locked up here so they could get their hands on my goods. <sighs> mm. And then you decided to take revenge on the Melazines? Over that? Ignorance is not an excuse, by the way. Yeah, it isn't. My initial target was Nervilet. Everyone in the Fortress of Meripede was declared guilty by him, after all. So they must more or less hold a grudge against them, right? If I could get them to strike back... But for some reason, no one wanted to team up with me. That mutual aid network in particular. What did those nobodies even gain from trying to challenge me? Seriously. In the end, I had to redirect my focus onto Melazines to salvage things. I recall that Kiara was the one who confiscated my goods for inspection. So I asked one of the more approachable guards to send a letter, claiming that I meant to contact my family. But the letter was in fact addressed to Essa. I requested that he write a threat letter to Kiara and force it to resign from the Mari Chaussee Phantom. Am I to assume that the claims you've made are your own thoughts? Have you been in contact with any suspicious people recently? No. Is it true that all members involved in the smuggling scandal have been caught? Yes. And that's all I know. Hmm. Sijuin, please take him back to the detention center. I'll deal with him later. So, Monsieur Nouvellet, you were concerned that there might be a shadowy faction looking to capitalize on the delicate situation with the Melazines to stir up greater chaos? Yes. I experienced a similar incident in the past, so I had to be prepared for any possibility. And how long ago was this incident? More than 400 years. <laughs> Jeez, bro. You might be overthinking this. Time can change a lot of things. Everything's different now. What do you mean? Well, not everyone is, like, immortal like you. 400 years ago, you and the Melazines you brought to Fontaine were the outliers in society. But in the present day, if someone were to threaten the safety of the Melazines, people wouldn't just sit back and do nothing. I trust that they would make different choices from before. That's right! We saw lots of people standing up for Melazines on our way back to the Palais Mermonia. Yeah, true. Monsieur Nivillette, the Melazines are a species you introduced to Fontaine. How the public treats them is also reflective of their attitude towards you. When people refused to place their trust in Melazines, it was because they were still on the fence about you, their unfamiliar Chief Justice. Oh. For almost 500 years, you've conducted every trial with impartiality. You made the right judgment each time, regardless of whatever nonsense went on. People no longer have any reservations about you and even consider you a symbol of the law. Right now, your every decision will impact all of Fontaine. In other words, you've gradually transformed the whole nation. Paimon gets it now. No wonder no one wanted to join forces with Dominico. Tragedies like that won't ever happen again. I am undeserving of such high compliments. 
From my perspective, I have simply been fulfilling my duties. It isn't anything special or worthy of praise. I'm simply fulfilling the promises I've made and searching for answers through my judgments. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. The complexity of human emotions and willpower far exceed those of mine. As a matter of fact, I believe that you are the ones who deserve my respect. There's no need to be so modest. The current state of affairs says it all. You're no longer that outsider you were before. Even if you wished to investigate something on your own, many would take the initiative to lend you a hand. That includes us. I must say that you've made a fair point. Thank you for clearing my doubts. Now that the case has been settled, I should get going. Huh? You're leaving? And so soon, too? Why not stay for a cup of tea? Thank you for the offer, but I know how this place works all too well. While some are here to redeem themselves, there will inevitably be those who harbor resentment towards me. The less time I spend here, the better. My presence could very well result in an unwanted disturbance. In that case, I'll have to insist. I still have two more things to say. Please, go ahead. The first is about the guard who helped Dominico send that letter. Ah, I know of what you speak. The guard was indeed deployed from the Palais Memoria's staff. However, as I mentioned earlier, I visited today on personal business. Therefore, I leave that matter in your hands. Well, that makes things a lot easier. You're not going to... Hey now, don't let your imagination run wild. Those from up there have a tendency to sympathize with others. However, down here, such thoughts will put you at high risk. I'll have a chat with the guard and remind him to take precautions in the future. I see no issues with that. Great! That's one thing out of the way. Uh, what's the other thing you wanted to say? The other thing was born from my own sense of curiosity. Now, I've heard that you investigated the mutual aid network. Is that right? Yep. Never I thought their badges looked familiar. I noticed the small gang as well when I first took over the Fortress of Meripede. They were not great in number, but every member always made sure to stand up for what was right. I've looked into their founder, Vautrin, who once stood trial and was sentenced to imprisonment in the fortress. Ah, yeah, that's the one. According to existing documentation, Vautrin remained disciplined throughout his imprisonment. He had never once engaged in physical or verbal aggression. In other words, how he presented himself in prison was very different from his behavior in court. What? Does he hate Nouvellet? During his trial, I could sense that his feelings were complicated. He appeared to be full of resentment, and I believe he had every right to feel that way. Perhaps he had been putting on an act. An act? Oh... Nervillet and Vautrin had a close relationship as superior and subordinate. Vautrin must have known that the Chief Justice would make an impartial judgment. Thus, the more resentment he displayed, the clearer it would be to those present that you were upholding justice. And to those who had been sitting on the fence, Vautrin's act was a very meaningful one. <sighs> That's all from me. Does anyone else have anything to say? Now's your chance. I don't have anything to say. Apart from expressing my gratitude, that is. Well then, let us head back. No need to see us off. Please, take care. You're right here. That trial is something I rarely bring up in conversation, but... I have always felt deep regret for what happened to both Carol and Vautrin. The words he spoke in court often replay in my mind, as if urging me on to do something. But Risley said he never resented you, right? Isn't that a good thing? I believe I now understand what he wanted to tell me. I feel conflicted about those words. How should I describe it? 
surprise, relief, fear, and regret. But this blend of emotions has led me to finally understand some things. I would like to hear your thoughts, too. What do you think of me? Paimon agrees with everything Risley says. As Chief Justice, every single one of your trials makes an impact on Fontaine. What do you think, Traveler? I mean, I think so, too. He's good at doing his job, and... Well... Uh, hey! Any comments? Uh-oh. What's Traveler thinking? What I really think is... Oh! Every trial you've ever judged has left its impression on you. And that's what makes you who you are today. As the Hydro Dragon Sovereign, Nuvillette still thinks of himself as an outsider due to his identity. Yo, the Trapper spoke! Oh shit! But so much time has passed since then. Perhaps the lines between him and humans have long since blurred. Mm. That is indeed a reasonable assumption. As I said, I find it difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. But I trust your judgment. Since some time ago, I have begun to notice the changes that have occurred upon my person. These changes were not due to any specific occurrence, but emerged as a result of time itself. I will try to contemplate this further. Thank you both. No problem. Oh. Oh. Huh? It's raining! Oh no! I not forget to bring an umbrella! Come on, let's hurry before it rains harder! It's raining again. I've had enough of this weather. Ah, uh, there go my travel plans. Did you read the news this morning? Quick, put away everything on the clothesline. <sighs> when is this rain going to stop? <laughs> Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry! They're planning to reanimate the monster. We have to report this to the Chief Justice. The Fortress of Meripede. It's a good place for me. Nervilet? Hmm. You could say he's the real symbol of Fontaine's justice. Watch him closely. He could be trouble. How can two completely different species possibly coexist? Who's been threatening Melisines? Show yourself! You will see much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. Good morning, Monsieur Nouvellet! The rainy season's almost <laughs> over! The skies are supposed to clear in a few days! I hope you find time to enjoy the sunny days ahead.
He's at peace now. Oh, it's the gals. Is the matter resolved? Yep, we found the person who sent that threatening letter. Risley said he'd keep a close eye on him, so the Melusine should be safe now. Oh, that's wonderful. Sorry for dragging you all into this. There's no need to apologize. Yeah, you didn't drag us in. We got involved of our own accord. Uh, by the way, where's Kiara? At the Palais Mermonia. More than 50 people offered to protect her. Some even hid within the bushes to look out for danger. <laughs> I was worried that the excess of protection would make her feel uneasy. So I asked her to stay inside the Palais. It's very safe in there. <sighs> what a relief! Well, now it looks like the dust has finally settled. To celebrate this joyous occasion, Monsieur Nouvellet, would you be interested in an exclusive interview? Of course, Charlotte. <laughs> That's not how you celebrate! <laughs> I will consider it. Of course. My schedule is full for the following weeks, but I should be available next month. Come up with questions during the intervening days, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Oh, oh, oh. It's like, oh my god, I get to interview Nouvellet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must head back to the Palais and issue a communique to publicize our investigation results. I hope it will assuage the concerns of all. So, oh, an exclusive interview! Am I dreaming? Oh, what should I ask him? Don't let anything hold you back. Make the most of this opportunity, and ask away. I agree. He'll decline any question he can't answer anyway. So you might as well give all of them a shot. True. I know this is like the last bit, but I need to use the bathroom and get a refill. So I'll be right back, guys. I'm a little mad that it doesn't do the transitions. I love your transitions. Wow, there's no music even playing, so you guys are just left in the dark. I'm sorry, guys. How's it going on your end, Joey? How's the doggo? Kiara? <sighs> Monsieur Nouvellet? Uh, sorry, I accidentally fell asleep. It's quite all right. I'm here to tell you that we have caught the sender of that threatening letter. You're safe now. Thank you, Monsieur. And thank you too, Traveler and Big Sis Paimon. Everyone's been so nice to me, so I've always felt really safe. Do you remember Domenico? He was the sender of that letter. Let me think. Uh, I can't remember. My memory isn't... By the way... Damn it, I I'm sorry. I saw Carol in my dreams just now. Hmm. Where's she gone, by the way? I haven't seen her in a long time. Yeah, I, I have a habit of reading faster than they talk, so I, like, skip over before they're done. Sorry. Uh... In my dream, 
She looked really happy. She held my hand and said, Kiara, our dreams have finally come true. I can't remember what our dreams were anymore, and I don't know why. But I felt really happy too. I can sense your joy. It is indeed a delightful moment. <laughs> Monsieur Nevillette, are you happy too? Oh, I almost forgot! Am I allowed to go out now? I promised to model for Alov. Of course. Off you go. See you next time, Monsieur Traveler and Big Sis Paimon. Hmm. See you next time. Well, I figured out that's all it was going to be. It's a little small wrap-up combo, but uh, yeah, I just, I had to go. You can continue this quest. So should I? Hmm. Oh. I guess I have to do the world quest first. Well, I mean, it'll be good to get it out of the way. World quests usually, well, change the world, so we might need to do this. Newcomers, and two of you to boot? Welcome! Welcome to the Fortress of Meripede. I'm Darcy. Outside they call me Pretty Face, but that's just not cool, if you know what I mean. I don't, but okay. That's what you're thinking too, right? That's why I decided to give myself a new super cool nickname. I'm called Dirty Face. Now, what do you think? Pretty sick, right? Yeah, honorary night sounds cooler. There's a generally recognized title after all. Just thinking about it fills Paimon with courage. More importantly, we have some questions. Oh god, I have to do the Paimon voice. Oh, well, of course. It's perfectly normal for newcomers to not know what's going on. Dirty face Darcy, at your service. Go ahead, ask me anything. Or anything interesting rumors? I heard Alvar's got his hands on some rare stuff. If you're interested, you could go to his rag and bone shop and ask. Maybe he'll let you have a look. Also, that new guard. What's his name? Noeles? I heard he doesn't like Fanta. What a stick in the mud. Not only that, he also wants to shut down the... Pankatron ring. Tch. <laughs> <laughs> you came here and you don't even know what this place is? Oh, based on how you're dressed, I don't suppose you're Flontanians. Alright, looks like you really could use an introduction. Fortress of Meropede. Got it. This is the Fortress of Meropede. Anyone can get into a regular routine and live a carefree life here. Pretty sweet, right? Why are you here? What, you want to hear the tale of Pretty Face Darcy? Why don't we go sit in the Kufan tech cafeteria for a bit then? It's a long story after all, so I'll need some time to tell it. 
I'll treat you to some Fanta. Wait. That's not right. I'll be the one telling the story, so it's you who should be treating me to your Fanta. Although newcomers won't have any coupons. In that case, you'll owe me for two Fantas. Huh? Why would we owe you a drink for telling your own story? Let alone two? We don't want to hear it, then. Really? Are you sure? Uh, that's too bad. Pretty Face might be a lame nickname, but all kinds of stuff happened back when the people called me that. But it's fine. If you regret it later and decide to, you do want to hear my story, I'll move it up in my schedule. You know where to find me, right? Right here. Why am I here? Huh? That's what you want to ask me? Wait, I get it. You want me to guess, right? You don't look like evil villains, so you definitely didn't do anything serious. Did you steal or damage some precious cultural relics? No, that can't be it. Did you collaborate with some bad actors and disturb the peace? Hmm, maybe not actually. Something more minor. Oh, you didn't pull a dime and da a dine and dash, did you? It was pymontiated. <laughs> <gasps> How can you say that? You clearly ate a lot of it too, Thradix. But no, we didn't dine and dash. Paimon has no idea what happened to land us here. We trespassed. Was from what I remember. That's how we got the quest. Oh, well in that case, all you can do is apply to have your case re-examined. But as Miss Monglane said, the window for that has passed. You'll just have to wait until the next opportunity comes. Also, you'll want to make sure you'll fill out the form correctly. If you get anything wrong, your application will be flat out rejected. You might not have known that, being new here and all. Don't be fooled by our appearance. She's a real nag about document formatting. There's no room for error with her, not even for the guards. Go ahead, ask me anything. What can I do here? Live, work, play, whatever you feel like. Trying to get some sun might be tricky though. <laughs> that said, it wouldn't be completely impossible either. If you're interested in getting some sun, you could bring... <clears throat> I could bring you to see a few people. Oh, I mean real sun, of course. Not, search, not the searchlights. Um, unless you're actually the type that prefers the searchlights, I'm not one to yuck anyone's yum, but try not to get burned. Paimon doesn't understand anything what you're saying right now. But does getting real sun mean getting out of this place? If that's the case, count us in! Missing the sunshine outside already? Alright. I'll take you to see Estini. Oh, the... That was the same guy that was involved in the other quest. Okay. In a bit. Hmm. I think we can still make it in time. Well, let's go ask him first. That's about all. That's all I wanted to ask. Alright, if you have any more questions, just come find me. Dirty Face Darcy is at your service. For now, why don't I take you to see... Estine? It's probably this most likely not how you say that name at all, but that's what I'm going with. He's a guard, but he's cool if you catch my drift. One time in the Pankerton ring, he slipped me a bottle of pure water before I got into the ring. I still lost in the end, though. Anyway, he's one of the good ones. Whenever there's trouble, he'll take care of it. So, wanna go see him now? What are we waiting for? Let's go! Let's go!
Hi, Estene. I've brought two new friends with me. Your new friends may have come at a bad time. <clears throat> Wait, I, okay, hold on. Let me try something. Your new friends may have come at a bad time. See that? They're gonna be at it for a while. That's an unscientific way of keeping score. Besides, the participants were unsupervised. Is that any way to pursue cons- Blah, blah, blah. Sorry. Convincing results? I'm calling for a reassessment. This is a competition. Of course we should have a refined system and fair rules. Participants who don't follow the rules should be disqualified. It's a good game. I'd expect nothing less from someone who's been through the ringer. You're... <clears throat> oh, it's the girl. It's hard to tell when you don't answer the... Anyway. If you're referring to the fraudulent thesis case, I've already made my point several times now. The case is still under investigation. It's useless to try and attack my character with something like that. If you say so. After all, you're the only one who knows the truth. Oh. It's Genevieve blah blah blah. And rave again. <laughs> oh god. Hold on. That deserves a... <laughs> I can't read. Yeah, yeah. I'll talk to you about my thing later then. I'm gonna bounce for now. Let me just take my med real quick. I'll leave my new two friends, my two new friends to you. like that some guide but might give them zero stars zero mr. guard as to organize organizer it's not exactly proper for you to stay out of this discussion of the rules is it I don't know why I'm leaning toward my mic when it could hear me just from here <laughs> this is just a game to pass the time. How was I supposed to know you'd all get so riled up over it, let alone take it this seriously? Right. Why don't we introduce the rules of the game to the new players? A game? I'm definitely gonna win. <laughs> There's no game, but the two of us can't win. Wait a sec. We still don't know what the game even is yet. Don't try to change the subject. We're already halfway through the game. And they don't even know the fundamental rules. They can't just join in now. So, what are you guys playing? Coupon Millionaire. <laughs> so, there. Genshin's version of uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Paimon has never heard of such a game. Of course not. This is just what the heartless guards play to make fun of us. Everyone loses, and I'm sure you know who wins. That's not true. You work to earn coupons during the game, and the one that has the most coupons will get an even better reward from me. So everyone wins, but one person wins more than the rest. A reward better than coupons? What could it be? In Darcy's word, 
in Narcy's words, a chance to be under the sun. Some of our periodic checks need to be performed outside. And I get to decide who gets these jobs. It would be very interesting if I just picked based on my, perform my preference. So I create a coupon millionaire. And those who want to go outside are free to sign up. Whoever gets the most coupons wins the game. Shit, we got this. Let's do, let's do this. If you feel that your strength alone will be insufficient, you can find others to group up with. As for how you earn coupons, I don't care about that. As far as games go, the rules are really vague. It's part of the strategy. Does the Fontaine Research Institute not have similar games? Um. How about you, Darcy's new friends? Sorry, everyone. I'm gonna win. It's not impossible to come back from behind, but only those who have the means will be able to do it. As for them, Esteen, maybe you should arrange a special competition for children. Fuck you, dude! Children's competition? He's talking about you, Paimon. Paimon doesn't know who you are, but you shouldn't underestimate us. We've seen some things. It's just a game and we're gonna cruise through it. No, I will definitely be the biggest winner. <laughs> what the fuck are these voices? Oh wow! A real child! And a confident one at all! What the hell is a child doing in the prison? <laughs> Fucking fuck! <sighs> Hi, Joey. What was the voice? Uh... That's what Catter said. And he's never lied to me. What are you all doing here? <laughs> God, I'm running out of voices. You again, Esteen. I didn't break any rules, did I? In fact, I even increased everyone's work efficiency. And that should be to my credit. Are you okay? Sorry. I'm alright. But yes, you discovered uh, the new one I added because I think I'm getting a little used to Metal Pipe. So that one with like a high volume would definitely get me. I thought Metal Pipe was uh, too low. That's why it wasn't like working on me anymore but um I went to a uh, sound alerts and it was maxed out so I don't know maybe it's just more volume settings I need to tweak with <laughs> oh dear <laughs> did, did I read this oh yeah I read this You know what I mean. You know your place, Esteen. You're a guard, and you should use your powers to make them obey you. I have my way of doing things, and you, Noelas Dibla. It's been some time since you arrived here at the fortress. You should try blending in a little more. Laziness, apathy, I will restore order here. Starting with you. Stop this gathering and go back to what you were doing. Oh no, he's doing the point. I'm not as lenient as Esteen. If I'm going to restore order, then punishments are a must. 
I don't think you want to know what they are. Are there things that even I don't know? I just. You don't need to waste any of your time on this game that we play to kill time. Fortress is huge. I'm sure there are other things that require your attention. I don't need you to remind me. Finally. Being serious can be a virtue, but being overly serious is something else. Anyway, now that the annoying guy is gone, will you join the game? Darcy's new friends? What sort of per person leaves their friends behind anyway? We are his friends! In fact, Paimon's gonna use his uncle nickname to address him. That pretty face is a jerk. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. That nickname doesn't sound at all all that mean. <laughs> Alright then. What should we call you? Call me Paimon, and this is Threadix. As for the game... We'll need more time to think about this. Sure. You change your mind. Please feel free to talk to me. Actually, where did that little girl go? And why did it? Paimon's really intrigued. Thanks, we should go look for her. Damn it! Can't read that fast. Yeah, question mark girl. There you are! Oh, you again. And you're, uh... Are you a bird, little one? A bird? Paimon doesn't look like a bird. The way you keep talking. <laughs> no, let me not do that. Indeed, Paimon, you don't. It's that so strange. You can fly, but you're not a bird? Are you an evil dragon? Or an evil dragonling? The way you eat and your thirst for wealth certainly fits the- <laughs> No, I don't! Anyway, he's Thradix, and Paimon's name is Paimon. What's your name? I'm Lenori. That's not the voice I gave her. Wait. Mr. Thradix and, and Miss Paimon, will you please tell me whether the evil sorcerer is still there? The evil sorcerer? Yeah, it's hard to differentiate their voices. Yes, with black clothes and a staff that has branches sticking out of it. Cater said that I mustn't get spotted by that sorcerer or things will get very bad. Was it the person that we just saw? Yep, Paimon thinks so too. Psst, want the VC? Sure. Yeah, if anyone's curious of uh, what VC I'm hopping into, I'm hopping into the Crystal Den VC. You could hop into the Crystal Den VC yourself if you go to Joey Everwolf and give him a follow. And also check out his Discord. Must be 18 or older though. Yes, because um, if you're not 18 or plus or older, uh... Yeah, that will be two yeah. <laughs> reasons for everyone. Not just to not to anyone younger, but to everyone. Yeah, fair. Are you streaming too, by the way? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just pretty much going to be doing something for the zero. I told him while he was streaming. Uh, I can just at least tell you what I'm doing for him in DMs, just in case if he wants to keep a secret. It's just think of it like for testing something. Ah, uh, okay.
Uh, also, I sent you the, uh, the the doggo picture, and I'm talking about Hammy this time. Yes, I, like I, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I saw. Wait, what are you? Thing not working. Ah, there we go. Oh, I'm doing fine. How about you? Okay, uh, I'm doing good. Uh, just a little bit like I just wanted to stay in bed today. That sort of mood, but like I had to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling. It's always hard to get out of bed sometimes. Oh yeah, I was about to say you have um, you have a uh, you have two little friends in front of your face. <laughs> two little friends. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought, that, I thought that was why you went quiet, but I was like, might as well tell him. <laughs> okay, which one's me? Um... It would just be cute if just like they both were on your shoulder. Just like, you have two thighs, and it's like, I just see two angels. What do you mean? <laughs> Maybe I'll look at the little thratics there. <laughs> That's your own version of Paimon. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'll get rid of the other one. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Must have been a guard, right? So, who's this bad, bad sorcerer? Estine or Nihilus? I really don't know how to read their names. Uh, the sorcerer... Edestine? I just call him Mistine for now, because I don't know. <laughs> I can voice act if you want me to. Oh, okay. Uh, Laminore. You wanna voice a little girl? Sure, why not? I am all above y'all. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I thought you were streaming. Uh, <clears throat> no, I am streaming. Well, I mean on Discord. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Estine is a good sorcerer. He brought me flowers when he returned uh, last time. They had the same color as my skirt. Also, Thaddix, get on my level. <laughs> Jesus, girl. Can you believe this, Paimon? Also, let me... Uh... I can't fully believe it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Alrighty then. There, so I will... So you could... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just, just make sure so there'll be no delay. <laughs> so there will be a wave it in between lines. Then, catter? Okay. The catter taught me how to put them into books to make, uh, breast flowers. That way my books would smell nice too. Is that what they call the fragrance of knowledge? Again, Thradix, get on my level. J what, just because you have a book of, that's a fragrance? I need to no. get on your level. No. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder you're in prison. <laughs> <laughs> that in this block. Oh wait, okay. <clears throat> now listen. Wait, did I say that right? Does that make sense? Uh, I don't know either, so <laughs> we'll go for that. Esteen said he was annoying too. Oh my god. <laughs> Here goes voice thing I am on. Just I'm just gonna I just gotta give her big respects of the actual uh the the, the people that voice uh Paimon in different places. Yeah. In different countries. I just like you get you get a big raise from this. <clears throat> uh Paimon doesn't like him either. It seems he doesn't think very highly of us. Or her, apparently. What did you say about me? <laughs> anyway, the evil source is gone now. Still, why is there a little kid like you in the fortress of... <laughs> Meropede. 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 I've always been here. Why does everyone ask me that? It's so strange. I'm That's even high, more concerning. I'm high above y'all. I'm higher rank than you. I'm literally 61 rank in this game. What the heck? <laughs> Don't you two have your own home, too? Home is where your family is. 
Ah, he quoted his sibling. Oh, it's... I was gonna be mean, but after you just said that, I'm like, probably not. <laughs> Trying to voice as like the mean little girl. <laughs> I know. I mean, you could go for it. It's just, it's a sweet line that rough that they. Oh, so they you're know. cheesy like Sora? Gotcha. But what? <laughs> for some <laughs> I. <laughs> That's what Cardo said too, which is why I have a home that I don't know about. Wait, are you saying you're homeless? Yeah, that sounds like you're homeless. Oh my god. <clears throat> Why do you call a place that you don't know home? Paimon, Paimon! I'm a Pokemon! <laughs> Paimon's a Pokemon. That I'm a normal sense. type! Wait, I can't. That's touchy. Toughy. But I'm sure uh, Catter knows the answer. He knows a lot of things, and a lot of stories. Like a story about how you not got no bit anyway. Wow! <laughs> <clears throat> Might Catter by any chance be a kid who looks about the same age as you? Why do I feel like they're just gonna be a Dexter? <laughs> Dexter's laboratory. <laughs> nope, he's a lot taller than me. Taller than Mr. Thradix. Taller than the evil sorcerer. What? What are we talking about, giant? Must be big, yeah. That's what she said anyway. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you brought that. <laughs> hey, you made it too easy. <laughs> but I think he's afraid of the evil sorcerer. He lost his sword. Wait. Uh, the evil uh, sorcerer what? has a powerful staff, so he. <laughs> I knew where you were going. <laughs> so, so he hides when the sorcerer comes out. Hush, I'm so mature for my age. <laughs> This this cart this counter this counter seems mysterious. Maybe uh, bah, 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 Lauren uh, something. It's just too young. She she hasn't been very clear about herself at all. Maybe this counter knows more. I guess we can go meet him. We want to meet this catcher. Will you take us to see him? Sure, but it's too soon to go back. I want to explore this place where the evil sorcerer isn't here. Will you come with me? It's not like I, I need protection or anything from you, Bacchus. Ah, uh, she's Sundere, of course. Uh. <laughs> Let's go! Uh, I guess so. <laughs> Let's go! I mean, uh, wh wh whatever. And hello, do look daddy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't not read this fast. How did they expect anyone to read this fast? I think she's reading like she's in a hyper mood. Well, well, I mean, that's what I mean. I don't know. I literally don't know her personality because earlier, or at least what I got a glimpse of the scene, it was like, uh, she was like, I'm a, I'm a genius or something. So maybe like, I, I, I don't know. I just like to give spice to my characters when who I voice. Oh yeah, spice is always nice. And everything nice, anyway. <laughs> Sugar, spice, and everything nice. These ingredients were created to make this special little girl. <laughs> but accidentally, Thrax bumped into her, causing a uh, reaction. Sundere X. The moment you said that, <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen when I was bumped into her. Yeah. Oh wait, you know that. Uh, got it. <laughs> like a you hollow. Oh, oh, I got you. Hold on. I don't know who's. It. I think it's him. I'm sorry. Are you all right? What happened? I'm trying. It's, it's so hard. His voice is fine on. Oh, I God. know. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the evil sorcerer's magic. We'll be trapped if we get caught in it. Sorry. The light's broken, and this expert here isn't anywhere near as good as he claimed. Damn. 
I never said such a thing. Oh, it's... Oh, wait. Okay, I thought it was point one. <clears throat> oh, it's you. It's all right. You're a good sorcerer. Sorcer sorceress? Sorcerer? Wait. Was that direct to her? Yeah. Okay. Sorceress. Oh, uh, so she calls the guards sorcerers and sorceresses. Soon did it. <laughs> <laughs> but that bright light really hurt my eyes. I'm just too blinded from your looks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Seriously, seeing people playing Kenshin, it's just like my. Uh, I just wish I could just like be like give someone like a uh, my account for like a day and be like, can you collect all these funny things? I'm sure Ryu would in my. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't. I gotta at least pay her back in some what way. I mean, I mean Ryu loves Genshin. So she... <laughs> she could definitely do it. Wait, wait, oh wait, was I supposed to do something here? Disabled. I don't know. Anyway. What should we do for our next performance? La 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 la. I'm just moving about because I am a cute little thing. I can kick your butt. No, wait. I can kick you in the balls. <laughs> That's what Mama told me. That's what Mama taught me. If there's ever a man that makes trouble, kick him the nuts. Uh, phew, I guess... Oh, okay. <clears throat> anyway, uh, phew, guess our adventure's almost at an end. The coupon, coupon ca uh, cafeterias are our final stop. So, the ultimate destination of adventuring is a good meal. I mean, it's always that, you know, like, food bringing a lot of people together. True, and I'm, sh I'm sure Paimon would agree. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, she would. Eh, not bad, right? Adventures take a toll on your body, so eating afterwards is a is a must. A must. Anyway. That's right. I never seen someone as small as Miss Paimon. You even smaller than Miss Swingwin. Swingwin. Yeah, that's very Sing hard. Swingwin. For some reason, I saw like swan wine or something, but okay. You should eat more so you can grow bigger. <laughs> okay, Kira's going for her it height, says, I see. Says the little girl. But I can at least naturally grow. Like a flower of a rose garden. I think Paimon is fine just the way she is. Aww. Paimon thinks so too. I love Paimon. Let's talk to Bo uh, Bran? 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 B-Man. Let's talk to B-Man and see if we get anything <laughs> good. Yep, it would be nice if a delicious, uh... Tassius? Rag out, though? t asses? I don't know. Like... Wait, are they eating ass? <laughs> 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 I got that one. That's too good. I don't <laughs> really curse at all. Oh, it's him? I didn't know his name was Bran. Oh. Or B-Man now. <laughs> Greetings, Bran. Or B-Man. I... 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 Greetings. What can I do for you? Up uh, five hundred. I'll have two free meals, please. But even that's not enough. Uh, let's go for five hundred. Five hundred. Let's make a thousand. I can't. Negative. This... According to the Fortress Meripede's coupon cafeteria regulations, 
Only one free meal per day shall be permitted per person. You greedy bastard. I'm getting some for Fuck you! I'm getting some for everyone. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, I was making sure you got the clip. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it's like... Eh. Uh, 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 okay, I think I got it. Uh, I'm trying to get the... Okay. <clears throat> Are you seriously trying to feed everyone here? We just need, like, two. It's only Wednesday. We only wear pink. Come on. Where is your pink? Hmm. Pink. Understood. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <clears throat> God. That was... <laughs> pink. Understood. Enjoy. I'll like have one too, please. I like a pumpkin latte also. Understood. Enjoy your pumpkin latte. Best service like ever. I give this like five star. I don't know why I'm giving her like an elegant and then like straight <laughs> to influence her. Mr. Thaddix, Miss Paimon, let's uh open our meals together, alright? Three, two, one, ba boom! Okay, now I'm making her cute. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, mine's a... Uh... Okay, I take that away from you because what we really said about Ema. <laughs> uh, Tess's uh, hangout. No, wait, hang... Hang... Rag out. Rag out. That's what I mean. What do you two get? Ugh. What would this it, even be? It's, uh -huh. it's, it's not that bad. It looks kind of edible, just like maybe the decor on it definitely needs to be worked on. But I would probably get like maybe put some meat, maybe a balanced ba a balanced dish in that one. It just seems more, uh, I guess pudding. No, not yeah. pudding. Something like that. I don't even know if it's a dessert or not. I see greens. What did y'all get? It uh, certainly looks like food. Wow, this looks kind of Yeah, I very much said, said the same thing, Paimo. It looks kind of disgusting. I give it zero stars. Okay, I apparently need to watch an influencer show at this point. <laughs> <clears throat> so I only got the good meal? Will, will there be enough if we split it into three portions? There's even a fortune is that- wait, fortune cookie? Wait, fortune pudding? Well, that's the first. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, what's, so. what's your say? But how- wait, how would that even be possible though, guys? Like, wouldn't it just dissolve? Unless it was in a paper bag, or not a paper bag, uh, a Ziploc bag, but I don't even know that exists here. Paimon's fortune says, Luck only brings fleeting pleasure. Lifetime, long, lifelong happiness require hard work. Grr, now Paimon's mad! How about you, Thradix? Oh, what? <laughs> no, 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 I refuse Th to believe that. Things happen, <laughs> don't take it personally. What the I fuck? I found it. Why are you like that? <laughs> That's something I would get in real life, honestly. No. I get that kind of thing. As long as you don't eat the cookie, it don't come true. That's what I at least know. Okay. <laughs> and hi, Banna. Oh my god. This... Literally, I would say this. <laughs> Just... Wow. Just... Wow. I cannot believe this. Mine says, misfortune is an illness, and caring friends are the cure. Aww. Okay, she is favored. <laughs> she is favored in the scene. <laughs> the two of you went on an adventure with me, so you're definitely caring friends, but you got the disgusting meals. Yes. Luckily, we, we can cook better than this. Yeah. The sorcerer said that I must remember to pay it forward, so now it's my turn to cure you. Aww. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Maybe. It's not like I like you or anything, Bacchus. Oh, see, there we go. <laughs> Let's go to the rag and bone shop. Wait, why is it called that? I don't even remember that place. 
Dragon Bone Shop. It just, to be fair, that sounds like it's just like uh, a general store or something. I mean, there is ways to put bones into dishes because, you know, it does help with the meat and all, but, uh, well, some people do uh, eat, like, literally there's the bone. I'm oh. not even talking about dogs. I'm literally talking about human beings, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, this guy. I didn't know he had a name of shop. Joey. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's just someone was demon. Uh, oh, that's fine. Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> Wait. Oh, okay. Hello. Alvin. I'm just gonna say Alvin. You're Alvin the Chipmunks now. Sorry. <laughs> Alfred. Alfred? Alfred. Hi, Alfred. Hey, Skylark, wanna find her? <laughs> God, this town's so shady. We just got oh, you want shady? You want you want shady? I got you, shady. I got you. Oh. Hi, hi, Scarlet, wanna Fanta? We just got a new shipment. What about your friends here? <laughs> it, it, do they want to cut? It. The, they want to, They want to cut? Sorry, they have to work for it though. I can at least give ten percent. Oh dear God, I've got to go back to high and low. Oh dear yeah, God. Yeah, it's, it's rough. At this point, she just like she drank tea and she's just normal. <laughs> so this is the rag and bone shop. Oh my, this tea is lovely. <laughs> Paimon, something happened in your voice? This tea just cleared my sinuses. God dang it! Oh, <laughs> if you want coupons, we're in. We're okay, huh? Oh, we have everything from home supplies like hydro, uh, phasm, tea bomb, gaunt tea bomb. Wait, Taint be gone. Oh, that's the name, the whole name of it. Oh, sorry. That's a clever Hydro, name. Hydro, uh, fat, fat, oh my god. Hydro, uh, Phantasm, Taint be gone. Okay, okay. Uh, so what happened to your voice? What, wait, what do you mean? Okay, never mind. To devices that help you in the, in the, what? Pancration ring? These names are killing me. Yeah. Pancration. I, I think it is. Yeah. How you said it. Our, our wares are... Our, our, oh, yeah. I'm saying that right. Our wares are trusted and loved by all and... All by all and sundry? Oh. All loved by all and sundry. You name it. Rag and Bone Shop has it. So it is a general store. Okay. Oh, okay. This sounds more like a drug deal. <laughs> Oh, oh, you want the special shipping? Gotcha. No, no, Just come no, back to the I'm back. I'm fine, I'm fine. Devices that help you? What do you mean? Let's talk about the devices. Uh, they're for regulars only. Or if you happen to be friends, uh, friends who are, uh, you know, regulars also, like this little mist right here. She's our top, uh, our contributor. Shut the freak up. I suppose I can show them to you. The air quotes for the store keep... <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you again. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> I'm trying to respond to uh, <clears throat> The special items must be pre-ordered, though. If you're if you're lucky enough, uh, you might find what you want on the for sale list. It's fine. Take your time. If you want me to like take over Paimon, if it's like too much. It's just uh, so, so, someone just DMing me about something. I want to make sure I you know answer them. That's all. Okay. Give me give me one sec then. I'll let you know when I'm done. Alrighty. Some cornbread on my Okay. 
The special items must be. Wait, did you read that already? No, like I'll just read it again, just in case. <clears throat> the special items must be pre-ordered, though. If you're lucky enough, wait, I read. Wait, I read this. Wait, wait. Okay, it sounds similar. If, or if you're lucky enough, you might find what you want on on the for sale list. Yeah, I read that, huh? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I forgot to. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> I was just making sure. I was like, wait a minute. <clears throat> We do have other stuff stocked at all times. So back to my question: What about Fanta? Are you are you looking for the quote unquote Fanta? Um, I want everything in Uncle Ever's store, and I can have the stuff later. Later. So, uh... Wow. <laughs> this is a shakedown. Why? Why? We're talking about candy. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> <clears throat> that's not that's not going to be a problem. Let's see. Uh let's see. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Uh we're almost uh through with this uh shipment. Only food and drinks are left, but they'll cost you a good number of coupons. How many? I cannot do my money. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do her. Oh dear god. <clears throat> that place. Really? Are you sure it won't be a problem? Oh, okay. Problem? If you mean if- Oh wait, wait, that's her, sorry. <laughs> Problem? If you mean coupons, Cater gave me a ton of them, so I should have enough. The food, the drinks are really- Oh wait, the food and drinks are really great, and you're going to love them, Miss Paimon. You're going to love them. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so I, I get none? Okay. Oh, and you two, uh, what's your name again? <laughs> Cater wow. said their cu- <laughs> the, uh, Cater said their coupons make unfair things fair. Only I got- only I got the delicious, uh, Tess's, uh, rag out at the coupon cafeteria, and that was unfair. So I'm gonna use my coupons to buy something delicious for the both of you. Two of you, I mean. Words. Yeah. <laughs> Time to eat, then. I think something doesn't feel right. I don't know what, what could be suspicious here. Well, I mean, everything could be suspicious here. <laughs> you know what? I'm, yeah, I'm curious. Something doesn't feel right about this place. I don't think Fanta is what I think it is. Oh, oh, wait. Belinaire said there are plenty of delicious foods and drinks. Eston said the hunger and gross food redu reduce our, our work effort and put us in a bad mood. Yes, I'm still a child. Get over it. <laughs> We're going to see Cater soon, and I want to be I want to be in a good mood when yes, I know there's a, there's no B, but. Uh, when we see him, that's why we need to fill our stomachs with delicious food. Deal again. These Paimon voices. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> we're counting on- we're, we're counting on you, um- wait, wait. Honey? How the heck did you sound like me? Uh, talent. If we're counting on you, Uncle uh, Al Alvred. Oh dear Wait, God! What? You got a mysterious uh, egg. Oh. Uh. Oh, you can actually get stuff here. You kind of um uh, took kinda... everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How the heck did you buy everything already? What the heck? Didn't you know, miss? He took everything. Sure, thank you for your business. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. We're probably thinking too much of it. Unless you already did, it's just like, she, it just, maybe it would just show that we, we literally just took it. <laughs> like, without, like, 
No, he has, I don't know. He has an actual shop, and I, I guess it did bring us to his actual shop, but yeah, I did purchase everything. <laughs> oh, I didn't read that line, damn it! Nope. Uh, isn't there like a text, like a text log? There should be at least at this point. Um... <clears throat> Uh, you have to have oh, a good meal. Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It literally <laughs> was just that. It was literally just that. It was literally just that, Thrax. You are fine. And plus, okay. let's be honest. Let's be honest. It's always a lot when it comes to Genshin like story or cutscenes. It's just like, enough. <laughs> Let me be. Let me just get this done so I can move on. That that's where I feel at least when it comes to me playing it. <laughs> and last story. Yeah. I'm not I'm not time on. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Just wanna tell you. Phew! That was amazing! Paimon's so full, she can barely walk. She's getting sleepy too. You don't walk, Paimon. Uh why are we here again? Oh my god. If you can't remember, then maybe it wasn't important. Paimon remembers now! We're supposed to be looking for a catter. Go we? Yeah, gotcha. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, let's go, but I don't know if he's uh, there. If not, we can wait. He might be, uh, he might be back soon. Who is this? Who is this person? <laughs> is he a character? Is this, is this like a character story? Or is this like the main story? This is a world quest story, so this is new to me um, completely too. I okay. don't know these characters. I... Everyone's new to me. Okay, I thought it was just like... Because, okay, I, I, I'll at least say this, so uh, I don't mind spoilers for my side, but make sure it's like, don't do it here on Dark Stream. But I never, like, I haven't even been to Samaros, so I haven't been to this place, because, like I said, I took like a break because I was burned the heck out. <laughs> Yeah, I know that feeling. It's like, Samaru was so freaking big, and I was like, eh. And event after event after event after event. Like, breath. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what some gaps do that to me. I'm like, it kind of ruins it for me. I don't mean to bring it down, I was just saying. Uh, no, I'm catering back. Wait, it is a kid. Oh, is this your boyfriend? Uh, shut up, boys from the distance. Well, freak you too. Caterpillar. <laughs> Love the name. Love the name. Welcome back, Lion. <laughs> Looks like you've made some friends. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It sounds like a star cross lovers between these two now. It's like, like a novella. Uh, if anyone knows, if does not know what that means, just means like a Spanish uh, soap opera. <laughs> so Paimon's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yes, they're uh, Mr. Mr. Thradix, Mrs. Paimon. Uh, Mrs. Paimon is small and she can fly, but she's not a bird. And hi, hi Ryu, I see you there. <laughs> hi Ryu. Can we give a shout like, out to Ryu? Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. God, Were you leave the box, uh, Brex said? <laughs> yeah, I heard that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, by the way, Ryu, oh if you God, want, we're in the, we're the, in the, the streamer's uh, VC. Oh. I think I think I oh. lost Sonic. This yeah, was I was just about to say that, too. If you want to <laughs> come vibe. Maybe voice act. Maybe, maybe. Maybe voice act, too. Yeah. She's not a... Oh, I literally remember the name. I literally got like a VTuber like a uh, asset to try later when I get my uh. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Uh, she's not a Sealy either. Uh, maybe a small, Oshiet, 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 Oshina. Oshiet, yeah. No wonder no one has seen anything like her or knows anything about her. Time Waiting to see if my boyfriend wants to briefly hang out or not. Okay. Alrighty, Ryu. Tell him I said hi. By the Tell way. him we said hi. Even though I'm too shy, I never met him. 
That's right. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Nope, I'm not doing Paimon. Nope. <laughs> That's I right. cannot go back. Paimon's just Paimon. Go. She's not a Sealy or an Oceanid. Wait, you're Catter? You look about the same age as Len over there. I'm actually much older than I look. Uh, nice to meet you, Thrad. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep up. Yeah. Wait, really? I don't know Wait. if I want to keep up with that kind of deep voice for him, but that's all I got. I can't... Hmm. Oh, let me try, uh... let me try. Let me try. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Thradix. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Thradix. Yeah, too, too butler. Too butlerly. Uh... This war is wild, I swear. Oh, I bet. <laughs> If you can't hang out, I'll join. Yeah, you, if you want, you can invite him here if you want. I don't know, it just felt like me asking too, too awkwardly to... <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, suggesting if you want. Uh... Get him to the crystal then. <laughs> if he wants, Become I'm not gonna pack. push it. Join I'm not gonna put... I'm not gonna push it on... Do you need a Paimon voice? I mean... It's up to Thrax to this stream. I mean, yeah, you could voice, uh... You could voice on Panna. Uh, okay. let me just make sure Pan has the roll, because I'm not going to say how you get the roll, but, uh... Oh, there's the Ryu. Yeah. Hey, yo. I figure since I, I haven't heard, and it's been five minutes, uh, I'll, I'll join. I'll, I'll join. Plus, I need to do my, my Genshin anyways. But yeah, no, this was such a good quest. I'm so happy you're going through this one. It's one of the 500 parts of the Narcissan Cruise Ordo quest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to... We're, we're kind of like... Oh, sorry. Let me in over time. So are you just... going to catch up on Genshin lore? Well, me and Thrax, well, at least mostly me was saying this, but uh, I was just thinking, like, if I just get someone to, like, to do my, uh, my Genshin, I'll just, like, my comeback, it's just, like, I was burnt out from Sumeru, and I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah, there's a lot to Sumeru, and there's probably a lot more that's been added since you stopped. <laughs> yeah, over a year it's ago. mostly world quests and stuff. I, I know it's a lot easier to do stuff if you kind of, like, pace it out. It's a really hard to get it all done in one go. Yeah, I just feel like I just, like, should just pace the one to do it for me at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh... like... If if you're hanging out with someone while you do it, it's not as bad. Yeah. Yeah, true. But uh, earlier I recommended uh him giving you his account so you could grind for him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for like, signing you up for that job. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, Panna. You could join. Yeah. We got room for two more. Yeah. Oh. Let me just see. Uh, Panna, just real quick. Do you see the VC where we're at? If not, I'm gonna at least, regardless, look to make sure you do have the roll. It's just, oh. there's a certain roll that, Watch you know, lets you. Oh. Oh, yeah. I had to, like, download and whatnot. Okay. It's just, it's just the update. I'm not gonna pre-download yet, because if I do, there it's go. gonna make everything so wonky. Alright. There you go, Panna. Usually, uh, be able to get this roll at the beginning, but I just gave it to you to make it easier. I was also going to suggest that she could join the waiting room and we drag her in. No, I don't know how that works. I never did. Uh, wait, hold on. There's just, there should be a way to just like, uh, let's see. Okay. Have, have you seen the new boy? The new Genshin boy? Uh, no, I haven't. Who is it? Gaming. People keep cracking jokes about his name because it looks like the word gaming. Oh, I haven't seen him. He he reminds me of Hazel, but basically he's like a little um, little lion boy. Ah, he's I have a to pyro check him character. Out. Ooh, pyro. Ooh. Yeah. I know when that banner comes, I'm pulling on my alt account because I need a leeway pyro. <laughs> so you can say he's hot stuff. <laughs> no, because on my alt account, I'm I'm story locked because I can't get past a certain part without a precision pyro character. Fair. Uh, so at this point, I'm just oh, hoping oh. for nothing. No, you're fine. You're fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. 
Uh, please don't be so formal. That feels so strange. After all, I am a young man in a, in a boy's body. Anyway. Since you are Laura's friends, sure, I can do that. I, I, I we know suck at names, I'm just, sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming it's like noir, kind of like, because it's got the word for black in it, so like, la noir. You mean like, okay. chat noir? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. You know, French words. Yeah. Yeah. I could you so. not when I kept calling him Cater for a while until they said Caterpillar and I went, oh my god, I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I said the same thing. Well, we were doing the same thing. Wait a minute, <sighs> we've heard the name Caterpillar before, haven't we? Made for someone from who? Who's Rathen Sumeru? I don't remember that. I do, because I did it recently. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Ah, you may or may not right. have done that quest. Julian? The painter we met at similar Oh no, right. Uh yeah. Yeah, he probably okay. mentioned them like once. Cause I that went over my yeah, head. Yeah, he, he definitely mentioned him once. You met Julian? King Julian? He's he really went to Samaru. Huh. How is he? He likes to move it, move it. He likes to move it, move it. He likes to move it. <laughs> Nuvelet's birthday. My lad. According to Julian, his ability to paint everything, uh, paint everything exactly as he sees it came from you. Did you really give him that power? I'm just checking. Uh, is that really what he said? I can't decide if he's exaggerating, as always. He likes to move with move with, but he, he takes things way too seriously. Or exaggerates the crap out of things. Wait, so he was moving, moving it? <laughs> <Lying>? <laughs> but the painting he made for Pepper looked so real. Even though the color was a bit off. That was the ability he always had, already had. What I did give was to give to him, certainly, the purer, the purer of the person, the purer the person, the more obvious the effect of such a port is. Pure? Huh. Well, he did look kind of gullible. Uh, and as for the marvelous bird egg... And the tea leaves that activate the imbiber's potential. Sorry. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm distracted. It's uh, okay. They're good for your health when consumed in moderation. Like moderation, to use that. anyway. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't, I didn't know what he, what he would break his certainly like that, certain certainty like that. I guess you could say that things turned out for the best, though. Did it though? No, I'm literally just asking. Did it though? <laughs> anyway, both you and L Lenore are children, right? So, is your guardian here? Why are the two of you in a place like this? Oh, wow. Deep and confirmed. Laura White. Look at yep. that. Yup. <laughs> uh, Kata's not ch Yep. The deep voice <laughs> is on no, point. I'm super- Honestly, honestly, I'm super impressed with myself for that one. Because I legitimately somehow guessed something and I don't know if y'all are gonna guess it before they reveal it. To be fair, I was just doing that deep voice for like for for the spice and giggles. I didn't know he was actually a dog. Peter's yeah. <laughs> not a child. Ah, uh, the the parents. <laughs> Hear me. Okay. Indeed, I am not. 
As for my present appearance, you could think of it as an illness of sorts. Huh, so that's how it is. I've been here for a long time. Well, because of what I've done in the past. But it's more com complicated for uh, Lenore. Lenore. Death. She was born here. Here? In the fortress? You're a strange one, Miss Paimon. I've already told you that I've always been here, haven't I? Agnes, her mother, was plagued by a chronic illness and passed away some time ago. I don't stick my nose into other people's lives, so I didn't know about their situation. But regardless, Lenore wound up with no one to care for her. Maybe it's because I've been here for a long time and Lenore has taken to me. But either way, uh, Ryu, how do you properly say this name? Because I've, I've been fucking it up too. Estiens? Estiens. Okay. That's, that's how I'd say it at least. Estiens asked me to look after her. So that's how it is. But she shouldn't be here, right? It's not like she's done anything wrong. You're right. I'm just looking after her for now. And she really should be with her family. And fortunately, she does indeed have family outside the fortress. So that's what she meant when she said she has a home that she doesn't know about. Will she be able to reunite with them soon? About that. Things are a little complicated, and I'm afraid it won't happen at at all that soon. How come? Because she doesn't have any proof of identity. Maybe Agnes didn't think of that either. She was the one who'd have needed to start the process to send Lenore to away to from the fortress. God damn it. <laughs> how about her other <clears throat> how about her other family members? Estienne said that Agnes wrote them in the past, but that she never received a reply and thus stopped trying altogether. If they knew about the current situation, they might change their minds. That's why I want to take her to her family. And if they don't want to take her in, we'll figure something else out then. Why can't I stay here? Sure, there's an evil sorcerer, but there's a good sorcerer. And you're here too. I don't want to leave. Mother never came back after leaving the fortress. If I leave, does that mean that I'll never come back? Just like my mom? And I'd never see you again either, Catter? Agnes left? I don't think Lenore can comprehend what happened. Ah. Uh. Poor girl. Yeah. Either way, this is no place for a child to grow up. How will a sprout bloom without sunlight? I feel like Ro Rivesley would like definitely Help clear out. He seems like the type of, type of if, guy that like. If he out. knew about her, the entire time I was doing this quest, I was just screaming internally because I was like, "Just let me see Risley." <laughs> ah! You should get out of this place, Lenore. You've heard all the stories already. There's a real world outside and a family that you are connected to. I'll go with you, so you need to be afraid. I believe you. Never lied to me. But how will you get her out without any proof of identity? 
Is there anything we can do to help? Is there some loophole or a back door we can use? There are options, but they're too risky. How about this then? Let's follow the rules. Albeit not that strictly. How would that work? Every so often, SDN will bring a few people with him and do some work outside. We use this chance to get Le Noir back to our family. Oh yeah, the game they mentioned earlier. She doesn't have any proof of identification to begin with. And the disappearance of someone who never existed on paper isn't exactly going to make news here in the fortress. You aren't talking about the coupon millionaire, are you? Paima remembers SDN saying that whoever gets the most coupons within the time limit will win the chance to go outside. Whoops. Our coupons went straight to our stomachs. <laughs> ah! And Lanor spent a ton more cleaning the rag and bone shop out. We're sure to lose now. What are we gonna do? We won't lose. If Catter says we'll win, we'll definitely win. Lanor! Paima suspects you aren't grasping the gravity of the situation at all. Sorry, we'll just have to wait for- Oh wait, no, no, no. I, I think this was something I had more to say. Can we get the coupons for fun then? You can't just say that she's a child who didn't understand the rules. As the transaction already took place, I'm afraid that won't be easy. It's fine. The coupons I gave to Le Noir were for her to use as she pleased. This little mishap won't change the outcome. Paima still feels kind of bad though. Why don't we help you? Paima remembers STN saying that you can play the game as a group. Really? Miss Paimon? You and Mr. Dradix will play the game with us too? Yep, and we'll win this together. With us here? This will be a piece of cake. There are four of us, after all. Still, how can we get the most coupons in the least amount of time? I already feel much better knowing that you'll be helping us. Thank you both. As for how to get the coupons, I have a few ideas. But that can wait until tomorrow. You must be exhausted. If you don't mind, why don't you rest up first? There's enough space here. Hmm, good idea. Thradix, if you're tired, why don't we call it an early night? Alright, let's call it a night. I'm feeling a little tired. Should we rest now? But these are quotes, so who's saying it? I'm assuming it's the girl that's saying this? Yeah, yeah, it's Lenoir and Catter talking to each other after you've fallen asleep. Okay. Catter, what story are you gonna tell me today? I've already heard a lot of stories with heroes and the main characters. Today, I'll tell you a story about a little girl then. A little girl? Can a little girl also be the main character? Of course she can. It's her own story, after all. In other stories, she might be a hero herself, or even an evil dragon. Ah, they're referencing the other quests already. There are all kinds of roles she can play. Long, long ago, there was a little girl who lived in a giant's garden. The giant took special care of the flowers in the garden, and wouldn't allow anyone to pluck even a single one of them. To keep intruders out, the giant built a towering wall around it. Because of this, the little girl living in the giant's garden had never set foot outside of it, even once. The giant always told her that the world outside was a dangerous place, and that the garden was the safest place she could live in. And then what? Did the little girl listen to the giant? I bet she didn't. If she did, then the story would end there. 
You're right. The little girl never was one for doing what she was told. Uh-huh. As for the rest of the story, well, let's save that for next time. Dang it, I just got back and I was like, oh well. <laughs> oh, they just ditched us? We're going on a date, Baka. No, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me retrace that because what we just told about the age. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Never mind. I'm sorry. Just like he looks like a kid. I was like, oh, he's a kid. No, wait, never mind. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oops, I did it again. I messed freaking up. <laughs> uh, What's everyone doing here? If I'm not mistaken, you must be Thorax and uh, Paimon, yes? I come back to your question in a moment. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to do a Russian. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear god, nope, 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 mm 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 mm. You can have this. You can have this. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with the goofy voice I gave him earlier. <laughs> oh, I consulted the records from the last hundred years, and I couldn't find any record of a caterpillar. In light of this possible mislaying of documents, we'll need your cooperation to recite them. There's nothing pressing about the matter, if you ask me. What's the rush about? Bastion, I'll forget the impression that you couldn't care less about re restoring order to this place. I can't agree with your viewpoint. People who habitually habitually indulge their every whim just can't see too much freedom actually does them harm. I'll restore order to this chaos using my own methods. I'll advise you again not to stand in the way of my work. Chaos? Isn't that just another word for thinking on your feet? What? Huh? You know what? Forget it. How? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know how we... Okay. This caterpillar, your real name. Additionally, I need you to state your crime in as, in as much detail as possible. Yeah! Uh, location... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Poppy. Hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hey, I'm uh, doing good. Um, I'm voice acting uh, for the, you know, the Theratics. Uh, Ryu's doing whole thing, and uh, that's streaming. <laughs> you know, I'll give Wolfie here a shout out, Joey. I was literally about to do that. Okay. <laughs> Every time I join, I just want to hang out with people, man. Well, too bad you're getting a shout out. You are. Thank you, but why? Uh, question. If you were on a different, like, a different channel, would you or would you not do the same? Me? Yes. Oh, no, I would. See? <laughs> even even from oh, my channel. <laughs> Without a... Volume of clips, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, it's probably through the website. Okay, I'll skim through yeah. that. It should, it should be within the um, website application you use, because I'm pretty sure that's how you implement it, right? Yeah. It's either that, or if it's on OBS and it's sourced, you could possibly lower the um, in the uh, output sound for it. Not the input, the output. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Okay, so I'll tinker with yeah. that at some point. Yeah. The more details you provide, the greater the likelihood we'll have of retrieving your records. If your file was indeed lost, we can fill in a portion of your records based on your statement. Joey, want to reprise your role? I've been uh, called a uh, caterpillar for as long as I can remember. I think this name suits me best. It's the closest thing I ever have to a real name. Also, I slap you with the... These are not gloves. But let me get my glove. Hold on. Slap. <laughs> you dare know, challenge me. Actually part of the actually yeah, that's their, that's the arms. Yeah, okay. I was just making sure. That's why I was like, those are not gloves. So Yeah, you can see the fingernails. Yeah. 
Our Latinos True. the same way. Yeah. Patui mommy. <laughs> or father in her case. <laughs> father. Real name father. Caterpillar. Confirmed to be correct. Next, state your name. Crime. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, I carried out. I carried out. Wait, mm -mm. I carried out a certain task under my my master's orders. I failed, but some people suffered because of it. Nonetheless, this was my crime. Very vague, but okay. Yep. Your master. I don't need the full name. Also, when did this occur? <laughs> Hundreds of years ago. Five hundred years ago is like Vanda. Anyway, unlike unlike me. He has many names. This happened a long time ago. Are you messing with me? God, I just now heard that voice. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I said is the truth. Just because you cannot listen, does that mean it's not true? This voice sounds too low to be that of a child. Oh, I think this is still you. Wait, really? Oh wait, that wait the quote. Yeah, I thought you meant like the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, not the whole. Oh, thing. I apologize. Were you looking for a more uh, dramatic account, or for some reason, Lorid, 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 thank you, Lorid details to ignite your imagination. Oh dear God, boy, you talk so. Yeah. <laughs> As for what happened that day, I could uh, recount as far no detail. From the fruitions of what I mean of that, thank you. Fruitions of that. I the words. Clandestine. Clandestine. <laughs> a hall to the thoughts of my companion, which I ventured to speculate on. Dear God, give you heart. <laughs> Not the words. Lots the words. Lots the words. Lots the words. If you need to take a break, I can read all the crazy words. Take the wheel, Ryu. Thank you. All right. <laughs> But that's all just a fabrication of the mind made after the fact. We both know that's not what you're really after. For these are nothing more than stories masquerading as the truth. The real story has already turned to smoke along with that barren garden. What you want to know is a purer truth. The truth that the culprit is where he should be. The other minutiae and trivialities, trivialities are of no significance to you. They're inconsequential, and thus won't shake up your order in the slightest. There's nothing here for you to trouble yourself with. Everything is as it should be. It's probably gonna be fine from here on. <laughs> the culprit is where he should be. There's nothing here for me to trouble myself with. Everything is all as it should be. Is that like a Jedi okay. mind trick? Why is he repeating the exact... <laughs> I'm gonna let you know right now, in this quest, there is an NPC that I want to throttle. Like, I've never wanted to murder someone from Genshin so badly before. <laughs> and it's in this I quest think... line? Yes, and I think you will know exactly who it is by the end. Okay. Compared to... Compared to the temporarily missing file, surely the misuse of... Uh... Rochelle. Rochelle. Rochelle loudspeaker is a more obvious problem. Apart from the unauthorized use, we've also received a number of complaints recently of numerous breakdowns caused by its repeated use. You're right, Estine. Estienne. <laughs> the guards have an even greater duty to put a stop to this sort of rule breaking. We should investigate the matter immediately. What are we waiting for then? Let's get this show on the road. I'm it's trying to figure to out whether or not the L's in that man's name are silent. <laughs> do I call him Noai? Or do I call him Noel? Which sounds way too close to Noel and makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> That's odd. Why did he flip it at the drop of a hat? There's something fishy about this. <laughs> that, that was thinking of Wonderland. <laughs> Can I have something to do with that stuff Caterpillar said? 
Paimon just felt a little sleepy when she heard it. I'm definitely getting Jedi mind trick vibes. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just ask him directly. New mail? Uh oh, hunting. Oh, oh with that, uh, how are you, Wolfie? Sorry, I just didn't want. I just didn't want to uh, interrupt the cutscene. <laughs> no, you are. That sounds fine. like a fun die. I have been good. I am so happy. <laughs> I don't have to deal with the final no more. Oh, let's go. Oh, congrats. <clears throat> ah, it feels great. Now, I don't want to work. I feel that. <laughs> I legit feel that. <laughs> so I am in a repetitive cycle of doing, of hating, both. Bo both oppositions. I I'm happy I get a days off now, but you know, <sighs> that's all I could say. That's all I could say to myself. Yeah. That's <laughs> fair. I know oh, right. bits and pieces of me just wants to crumble away. <sighs> but we will gather those pieces and bring you back. No escaping. Sorry. Anyway. I ref I refuse. So oh, bad. Sorry about the delay. About the way I said I got the coupons earlier. What did you do to him? Let's just say he's uh sleeping with the mermaids. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone that aggressive doesn't seem like the type to take advice from anyone. And what did you mean when you said that? Why would he give up so easily? Well, you're way too young to understand about the mermaid. I know it means, you know, sleeping with the fishes, but, uh, there's a whole different meaning when it comes to mermaids in that sentence. Anyway, there's a few small tricks. Mm -hmm. You want to show me them tricks? He's a Jedi. I know it. <laughs> and plus, uh, Wolf, you probably don't want this kid. He he's actually looks like a kid. <laughs> uh, the, the culprit is where he should be. There's an undeniable fact. And I know you meant that to me, Wolfie, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I know, no, no, to you, yeah, not to the kid. The kid the kid can just... I, you know, I, I'll play basketball with the kid and dunk on him. <laughs> <laughs> Making someone as straightforward as him certain of a deniable fact is, isn't exactly hard. Like that time with Julian? Oh, you mean King Julian? I know. That's right. Just like the time with Julian. I've been here for a long time, as you know. After staying in one place for a long time, it's only natural to pick up a few tri handy tricks to exert some degree of influence over your environment. Sounds a little sus. Almost too handy, I'd say. Changing a stubborn person's mind with just a few simple phrases almost sounds like magic. Could there have been times when we were also influenced by magic without even knowing it? Uh, technically? Consumer? Do you believe in magic? Friendship is magic. Considering how pure-hearted you are, Paimon, that is a worrying thought. <laughs> Damn. Would Sylvan even realize that they're being influenced? Mm hmm. Hmm. Paimon was already a bit sleepy, but now her head is totally spinning. It's not as simple as it looks. There are always limits to the application of tricks like these, and the results aren't aren't always what you hope for. It's like with Julian, he always had a knack for, for art, but he lacked confidence because of his visual in, impairment. The certainty that he could draw, well, was inside him to begin with. Dear God, man, why do you talk like that? <clears throat> but in other cases, the concept of certainty is just too abstract, making it difficult to predict the outcome. So I did take the chance this time. I just thought that if he helped us, uh, help, held us up here, it would keep delaying the plan to get. I literally forgot her name. Uh. Lo. Lo. La Noir. La Noir. La Noir. La Noir. 
Oh, like saying like a la chica, but like na, la noire. La noire, yeah. Out of the fortress. Watch me be saying these wrong anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's always that case. Uh, besides, I doubt you wanted to be questioned by him repeatedly either. Unless you have a, a masochist streak on you or something. Well, he's got to take chances to achieve their goals. <laughs> I just like how you ignore that part. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right, and I still question you if you are a masochist or not. Anyway. <laughs> back to the matter at hand. If you changed your mind and want to uh, back out, I understand completely. La Nugua is might be sad for a long time. Wait, sorry. Will be might be sad for a time though. For her for her, playmates like you are harder to come by what huh? Well Cause she she's a little, like a lonely little kid. Oh okay. I was There's like someone to play with. Okay, I was just like I wasn't sure because like wait a minute. Yeah, no, they they meant it in really simple terms. It's just don't don't overthink it too much. Okay. <laughs> It's not like, oh, she's been screwing with you the whole time. Dang. <laughs> how could... That would be a really interesting twist, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, how could you, man? How could you? I thought we were buddies. Haha, you thought wrong. Hmm, <laughs> we've already made a promise, sir. So we can't just go back on our word now, right? A promise is a promise. Yeah. Consider this our way of helping her out. Speaking of which, where is she? I'm down here. <laughs> oh dear god. Okay. <clears throat> she went on an adventure earlier this morning. Probably to rehearse for what's to come after she leaves this place. It's just as well, I have a few headaches to go take care of soon. What headaches? Are you talking about the mermaids you were talking about? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. You just have to find out, and next time on Dravix 3, I get. <laughs> you can't usually get a reward for helping others, including the guards. Take care, of, take care of some headaches. Oh, we totally get that. Wait, that no, because of water. Oh, we totally get that. Sounds just like some of the Adventurers Guild's commissions. I see. Would you two join me on the next commission then? Your help would be superb in my work. Sure! Where are we going? Just so agreed on my behalf, Piper. Yeah, like always. The ban oh wait. The abandoned uh, production zone in the lower levels. That sounds sketchy as heck. Yeah, you see what you signed us up for, Piper. And Piper's like, I don't care, we're still doing it. I will say, you can get coupons from this quest, and you can use them to buy recipes and stuff. I think that I was already bought the whole store. <laughs> yeah, I bought out the whole store. Yeah, but there's also a quest that you can buy from the Rag and Bone shop. I don't get it. No oh yeah, that, that was the shop I sold out. Is there another shop? No, it restocks after the quest. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's also, um, building furniture recipes in there, too. Okay, and it's all from the same guy, right? The... Rag and bones, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm walking down there. Oh, I do go down, so why didn't you tell me? There, there is a, there's a teleporter, and then right behind the teleporter in the production zone, there's an elevator that should be able to take you there. Is it- would it be this one, or...? Maybe. There's at least a 44% chance. Yeah, that says production zone. Hmm. Ah! Alright. Yeah. You know, it took me a while to figure that one out, so... I probably spent, like, at least 10 minutes on it, which is- Fucking- <laughs> been looking- <laughs> Sorry, I did the redeem on uh, on him, Thradix. Uh, <laughs> wait, you know what I meant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know what you meant, I know what you meant. 
Hey, you put that on your channel, Dags. You can't blame me. Yeah. But you were what? What, what happened? Uh, the sound alert bang. Oh. <laughs> uh. But you were saying, Ryu? Uh, I, I was just saying it, it took me like way longer than I would have wanted to on trying to find my way down to the abandoned production area. No, what's work? I was right in it. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you put your friend. Okay, so we, we we gotta stop being Canadians. Just let me do. <laughs> okay, okay. No one comes. No, no one comes down here anymore after the geode. Geo? Yeah, it's geode. Geode. Thank you. Thank you for you. Geode mine shaft was closed, and the device here aren't meant for anyone just to handle. Yeah, a geo's like that rock where you break it open and there's crystals inside. Ah. Uh, that's a geo. It's like, thank you, I need a reminder of what it was. <laughs> because there's like a geo, like, orange thing and Leo away and all that. Uh, that's exactly what happened this time. Someone tinkered with a, this, with a driver, wait, the drive, uh, valid, val, I give up, and I'm trapped <laughs> with their own companion. There, there, it's fine. Anyway, let's get op let's open this bad boy and uh, to the supply warehouse. By the way, if you offer a drink, you best say no. Uh, just best say no. Uh, uh, okay. Otherwise, you're just be in a bed with uh, just like um, random people. Who's going to offer us a drink? And why won't we take it? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> this is really sus. The more progressive. I. Kid you not how fast I forgot he said not to take a drink from anyone, and I tried to do it anyways. Eh. I mean, I, I would have done, I would have tried to. I was so curious, I was actually a little bit upset. Because I was like, man, I really want to know. Oh, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> this guy's just like, yeah, heck no. Too many ways, too many ways. I didn't care I'm pointing the same way. Well, like that, or? Uh, let's just look, look in that direction, see if it's open to anything. No, uh, nope, it's still sealed. Okay. okay. Um, so figure out, figure out which one you need to open first. Which, which one? Because you have to operate the drive valve to open access to supply warehouse one, so Use the little navigate thingy to get a line to figure out which one you need to go to. Okay. Or, yes, I don't know. <laughs> one of these goes yeah, the way you need it, to. It's hard to tell, like, which Just, one. Just spin it to another door and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because clearly that one wasn't it. Bring the you Knights of Favonius with you next thingies. time. I recommend taking the one at the back. One at the back? Yeah, the, no, no, no. It's it's attached to the thing. There's two gears on, on the thing you were spinning. Grab that one. And oh. Go. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you leave one there. I was just thinking of, if that opened, I was like, I so pressed it. Nope. Dang it, it's it. I'm doing like 
have weird little Pokemon battles with people in the prison right now. <laughs> Joey, you're up. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> How do you say his name? <laughs> How do you say his name? Mitol? I don't know. Mitol? Mitol, are you are you all right? I hope you aren't trapped for too long. Is it, does anyone want to take a whip of this? <laughs> you wanna, anyone want to try their hand at uh, voice acting? Wolfie? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was My like, savior, yeah. you're finally here! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Where's Koblenz? He's not with you. I think I heard uh, Joey's ass, so we'll give him a minute. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he just reminded me I have to be somewhere tomorrow, which I knew, but it was just like, you know, just to, just in case. Uh, he told, he told me some, told me, sorry, he told me about trapping you here and asked for my help, but he left because a guard interrupted us. I knew he wasn't reliable. He probably ran away because he felt guilty. Yeah, that was alright. I mean, how do you make money in business if you don't take risks? Why is that so shocking to the traveler? Okay. He was clumsy and too cautious to boot. I mean, pure water is one thing, but even Fonta is available nowadays. If Fonta is here, how are we supposed to survive? Oh! What, you like Fonta too? Uh, it, it's just about alright. A customer with taste, I see! Uh oh. Uh, the uh oh. Anyway, I have to settle this with Koblenz. By the way, has he paid you? Nope. <laughs> Just nope. Sometimes I want to stuff him in a large bucket. That'll make him reflect on what he's done. Anyway, please take these coupons. Take them, you two, if you would. What? You want us to take all of it? Of course. Thank you, then. We can go to the Rag and Bone shop later to see if they have anything new. By the way, I'd like to apologize for dragging you into this. I have some fresh health drinks. Would you like a bottle? Fresh health drinks? Paimon, no. Yup. Healthier than pure water, in fact. Oh my gosh. Uh, all of them... Well... <laughs> I'll go for the Fanta. Well, I have. Well, I have that too. Wait, do you have a problem with my healthy drinks? Let me sell ya. Oh God. Here's the sales pitch. That's not what Threadix meant. It's just that we had lots of drinks before coming here. But by my bets, these drinks are good. We'll make sure to try one next time. Bad timing, huh? Well, come back when you get the chance. It'll be my treat. Anyway, I must go talk to Koblenz now. I have something else to take care of, so I need to get going. Don't worry too much about the coupons. I'll put the I'll... I'm trying to say this like he will say it sarcastically. I'll put the clues across the blackboard. Let's meet up later. <laughs> <laughs> like really spelling it out to the traveler. Yeah. See you later. Now go read the note on the table. <sighs> we'll need more where that came from. Well, the fruit juice, rainbow rose. You can skim it if you want. You don't have to read the whole thing. Oh, okay. <laughs>
That's just your explanation. War powder? Alright, so clearly he's been <laughs> testing this out. Yeah, the poor dude puked and got the runs and was laid up in the infirmary for three whole days. Oh uh, boy. <sighs> oh wait, what am I doing? I can just port right. Yeah, just teleport back to the, the that upper teleporter. Mm, where do they want me to go? Where am I going? I'm sorry. What is this? What's this? What's this? This the 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 season. No, oh, it just told me to go to the Rift of Erosion, and then I got really confused because I don't remember what that is. But actually, guys, I'll be right back. Just gonna use the bathroom. Okay. Yeah, already. Already, I'm back. Oh, that's what they. I'll oh, back. I can actually throw rocks. Uh, who was voicing Lenore? I, I forgot. Uh, Lenore. Um, I don't. I think Lenore. Lenore. <laughs> I, okay. Uh. Mr. Tarix, Miss Paimon, we've fallen way behind. Oh, dear goodness. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. It's... It, it's so yeah. annoying because they don't, like, put it in order of, like, who's in first. That bothers me so much. Oh, God, yeah, I just noticed that, yeah, too. Yeah, I just... Wow. Dang. So you're gonna uh, have to pay really close attention. It's true. I've been asked to, uh estimate about the current situation, and this seems to be the case. Sir, you act and sound like a, a genius, but... <laughs> okay. Let Paimon see! Oh! Looks like you got some coupons too, Caterpillar! Wait, are we still dead last? Even Darcy's ahead of us! He entered the competition by himself, didn't he? How can this be happening? I just think of like Darcy from Ink Slope and then, uh, because, uh, because he helped the guards take care of the small number of news. News. <laughs> For example, Mists. Monglane? Monglane? Mon Lane? Often ask him for help. I'm just gonna. It might, just, it might be a silent G. It might be like Mon Lane. Mon Lane. I don't know. Milady. We'll just say Milady. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. I already read this. <laughs> oh, my bad. No, you're good. I was just making sure to tell you. Paimon sees. Wait a minute! Does that mean he was so nice to us at the start because he could gain something from it? I was about like that. I mean, can't blame him. Nit. Also, will we lose for sure if this keeps up? Uh, if only Paimon hadn't eaten so much at the rag and bone shop earlier. Would it be that case, though? Would it be the case? Yeah, would it? <laughs> would it, Paimon? No matter. All that counts is the total number of coupons uh, collected within the time limit. Using coupons you already have doesn't affect... Uh, wait, sorry. Doesn't affect the total count. Okay... That... Oh, wait. <clears throat> that means you can eat you can eat even more, Miss Paimon. Oh wait, that's right. No wait. It was you wait. I like, forgot who was voicing um Lunar after I was like maybe wait a minute with that. 
Yeah, I'm a little confused too. I can take over if you want me to. Uh, yeah, because I can at least do voice one voice. Uh, I can voice act for one character because I'm just trying to make something for a zero for him to test later. Oh, like, all right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lenoir, our problem right now is that we're about to lose the competition. Aren't you guys the least bit worried? There's still plenty of time before the end. We'll make it through. Plus, I can always have a talk with them with the mermaids. Anyway. <laughs> mermaids. Oh no. Today was exhausting. Let's keep going tomorrow. Wow, he really looks out of it. Are you tired, Mr. Thradix? Let me rub your shoulders. That's Aww. playing favorites, Lenoir! Paimon's tired too! Okay, then I'll rub your shoulders too. She was I like, love I love that, just okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm very good. Goodness, I'm really this what clear my throat when I sell this line. Uh, <clears throat> tomorrow, I mean, tomorrow we divide and conquer. We'll con. Wait. Reconvene. Re Thank you. <laughs> we'll You're reconvene. Good. We'll reconvene here once we make some from games. Sounds good? Sounds good. We'll make better time this time. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> well, he was in a rush. <laughs> Indeed, that sounds like a better play. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Yeah, I did a long time. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Also, if you don't mind, we can rest here, just like before. Sure! Thradix, you can take a break now if you're tired. I'm not gonna lie, I got so weirded out voicing Paimon and referring to myself in the third person that I literally just started saying Traveler. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ugh, I'm saying my own name too much. I feel like Paimon. Let's take a rest. Is this? Catter, tell me more of the story about the little girl. Last time on Dragon Ball Z, anyway, last time we left off with the little girl living in the, in the giant's garden. I bet she leaves the giant's garden. But how does she get out of there? Oh. Um. Wait, is it? Is this all him say this? I think it's all him. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. I chose the most talkative person. Yeah, he chose one of the main people. Uh, <laughs> alright, alright, I'll commit, I'll commit, I'll commit. <clears throat> one day, the little girl uh, heard the sound of a woman's voice coming from beyond the towering wall. Hiya. Anyway. Uh, Kind-hearted giant, I am in need of a little purple flowers from your garden. Will you please give me some? The giant refused, of course, and fiercely bellowed at the woman on the other side of the, the garden while to leave at once. But the woman did not leave. For a short distance away, she lamented, lamented, Lament, thank you, that she had journeyed far from far eh, from, uh, from afar for the little purple flowers in the garden, which she needed to cure a sick friend's illness. Goodness. Hearing the woman's plead, the little girl felt sorry for her and her friend. The giant had so many flowers in his garden, surely one or two uh, less wouldn't hurt. Are these like magic beans, like uh, flowers or... You'll, you'll understand the story later. Okay. Thus the little girl approached the garden wall and whispered to the woman that she was willing to bring the woman a few of the small, sorry, little purple flowers. Except the little girl, except the little girl said the giant wouldn't let her leave. The garden's walls were too tall so that she wasn't sure if she would be able to get the flowers to her from the inside. From the in from the bleh, from the other side of the wall, the woman told the little girl that she has actually she was actually a witch that that knew many magic spells, and if the little girl could bring her the flowers she needed from the giant's garden, she could use her magic to explosion anyway, to help the little girl leave that garden. Did the little girl decide to help the witch? Hmm, I bet she did. Otherwise, the witch wouldn't be able to cure her friend's illness, right? But 
But the giant said she couldn't leave the garden. If she left, wouldn't she get punished somehow? It's getting late. Let's leave that part of the story for next time. What? I said bed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dear goodness. Pelper probably went to get coupons elsewhere, but he left us some clues. The entrance to the Rift of Erosion. Maybe we'll even be able to get some coupons. Whenever you click on that, it's always just that. It's always just that. Um, okay. I, I had to I had to figure out for myself where the Rift of Erosion was. I did eventually figure out where it was. Okay. Um, you want me to tell you? Uh, I'll take a few guesses at first before, um... Okay, okay. Looks like Caterpillar... Oh, wait. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's literally just that again. Oh, by the way, I will say, sometimes they'll give you, like, some missions to do, and then you can do other stuff that will also give you coupons that'll put you over, so you can get extra. Ooh. I did that by accident. I opened a chest, and the chests in the fortress give you coupons. And so I accidentally got all the coupons I needed, but I hadn't done the little mission yet. So, I, um... Yeah. April, thank you for the sub. <laughs> thank you, April. Thank you. Oh, that doesn't work. Hmm. This calls for hey, pets. You thought I was gonna do the other one, huh? <laughs> Never understood these things. Do I just leave them on? Do I disable them? What do I? Yeah, you can play with those later. Okay. You could basically just turn them on and off. So my guess is the Rift of Erosion is where um, they sealed Primordial Water, or no? No. Okay, then, that, yeah, that was my only guess. Okay, where, where is it? Remember when you had to do the sneaking mission to get into that goddamn tunnel? It's yeah. at the, uh, the end of that stupid tunnel. Fuck that teleport cool. waypoint is outside, by the way. <laughs> Oh, okay. No, 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 you can go to the one you clicked on before. The one just in the green area, you can't click on that one because that one's outside, that's in the water. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, your fastest way is to go up. Oh, so all the way not, up. Not, to, the, to the dormitories, basically. So just the, the way you would normally get to the dormitories, go there. Okay. That's the production zone. Oh, I'm <laughs> stupid. <laughs> You're fine. I think I'm too stupid for this. <laughs> it's it's where it's where you go to basically it basically it was on the floor you started on. <laughs> God damn it. That's why I was asking if you wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay, so it's on this floor. I lost Tony. Alright. But yeah, it's that goddamn tunnel. Tunnel, tunnel. The green one. The green. See all the green? You need to go to the green. Ah, the green. Yeah. The mean. <laughs> now, why they call it the Rift of Erosion? Heck if I know. Yeah, when I heard the word erosion, oh, yeah. I I suspected it was like that area oh, where Nuvolet did his thing. Stuff. Yeah, it's um, you have the, you know, remember that hole you can swim through to get inside? Yeah. Yeah. So this this mission's actually connected to that. Oh well. Maybe I should grab that quest. Maybe it's relevant to this. 
Well, I mean, you, you have to do it anyways for the credit coupon thing. Oh, right. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the, yeah, that's the thing. Gavalier. Or Gavalier. Gaval... Gal... Varier. There we go. Hello? What is it? Please help us, good sorceress. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking like Lenoir? Just get to the point. We need lots of coupons. Are there any jobs we can take? You didn't join Estienne's game, did you? You should know when to stop. Nonetheless, there is something that I need your help with. Kleinus should be repairing his device or whatever it is by the rift of erosion. Go help him out, would you? Just ask him for compensation. He won't object. We'll take care of it! Thing. What? It switched my mission! It switched my mission! Why did it do that? Oh my god, there's we'll free money! Where that came I'm from. sorry. Money, 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 money! Money! Oh wait, I forgot this is prison. They don't have money here. Yeah. Well, coupons, right? That battle count? No, they're just empty boxes. Oh. Oh. Oh! Okay. I picked up litter and I got a reward. Yay! Hooray for picking up empty boxes, thinking that there's money in them. <laughs> Just in time. Come, help me out. We won't do this for free, though. My mentality for this whole game. Like, I'll do it for money. I'll ask Gal to apply. For, I'm not even gonna try it, <laughs> to apply for your payment later. Galvarier. Galvarier. Just, you know, the T's silent. Okay. I assume. Huh? She said we can get compensation from you directly. Did she? All right then. Applying for funds here is even harder than from the Fontaine Research Institute. Anyway, the task is nothing difficult. The research ter terminal here requires two people to operate it simultaneously. And I've already entered the commands. Just walk over and pull the lever. Almost forgot, the charging device should be nearby. We'll just install the charging device first before starting. And just to double check, you're not machine killers, are you? If the research terminal attacks me, then I guess I can. <laughs> that is that was that was my response. I was like, mm, well, if they attack me, <laughs> you know. Well, why do you ask? I asked Galvana for help last time, and even though I only looked away for a moment, when I looked back, the terminal was already destroyed. I asked her what happened, but she couldn't tell me. I found out from her sister later that no machines can survive under her for more than half a day. Even Elaine... Blah, 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 ten. <laughs> That's a word. Would Elaine, have gu that's guillotine. Guillotine, okay. Would have given up on her, I suspect. Even the repair fee was deducted from my compensation. If you're just like her, then all my hard work will be in vain. 
what a story. We're definitely not like her. Don't worry. I'm counting on you then. I sure hope everything goes smoothly. I can't be dealing with any funny business. Oh, I thought that was a shiny. Looking good. If we weren't in a place like this, I would have hired you as my assistant. <laughs> this is too easy! By the way, what does this device do? There was a rift that connected to the outside. It had to be watched. Now we can just seal the passage with this device and save manpower. Kinda sad, actually. Yeah. You know how much I loved that passage? <laughs> This is nothing new to the Fontaine Research Institute. Anyway, but since I have plenty of time, I modified it a little. What you're seeing now is, isn't is even the f its final form, which was <laughs> actually deployed at <laughs> the Geode Mineshaft. <clears throat> I think I spoke too much. Just pretend you didn't hear anything. Uh... So there are exits in the Geode Mineshaft. Right, you're a smart one. But if you were smarter, you would have kept that to yourself, not blurted it out. It's okay, dude, I got waypoints. It's like, what the fuck are- Anyway, problem solved. Galvana no longer needs to come down too often. And I could take a break. Ah, yes, I almost forgot about your compensation. Thanks for Don't your forget help. forget about that compensation. You give me them damn coupons, bro. Hey, give me the coupons. I don't even know how many coupons I have now. I'm really upset they don't like if you go to your inventory tell you how many coupons you have. You have to actually physically open a store. Hey, this guy is in the prison now. Hi, intrepid Valberry. I missed you. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm I collecting mean, all the fruits. I created. I'm, I'm creating something. You're creating something. Ooh. That um. That baby question. <laughs> Just look at that mouth. Baby question. That may be, like a may be question, like that. Oh, maybe. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm fun playing Alice with the kids. You are? <laughs> no, it's pretty fun to be honest. <laughs> Looks like SDN really should hold a children's vision. Version. Blech. Yeah. <laughs> Did he need us for something? We're rivals, you know. Did he really I come to see habits. if we're having a good time? <laughs> Traveler's just like, yeah. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> I have many qualities, and one that has benefited me greatly is my curiosity. I always want to get to, to the bottom of things I don't understand, so I tend to know the facts better than others. Get to the point. I just wanted to know why you decided to take part in this game. If it was for the chance to get out, I have another route that I can show you. I like playing games, and I like winning more. In that face. <laughs> <laughs> Remaining vigilant around your enemies is wise, but I'm not necessarily your enemy. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, if you only want to win, then why don't we work together? Sure, give me your coupons. We'll call it even. Huh? But aren't you already in first place? That's precisely why we both stand to benefit. Sorry. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Wait a minute. We tried to help La Noir out. That little girl? In that case, if you're willing to join up with me, I'll grant any, any wish she has as well. Sounds too good to be true. Then I'll be frank. This is a matter of honor. 
Caterpillar and I have some unresolved history. I don't know why he said to pull one over over on you, but I'm telling you, he's a monster. A monster in oh, human dang. skin. All oh, dang. What are you talking about? You're not some sort of rule breaking scheme, I trust. Why does he have that accent? <laughs> I don't what know. What are you I talking the most... about? <laughs> Ah, Mr. Nualalalalez, your <laughs> timing could not be better. <laughs> could I ask you about the results of the investigation into Caterpillar? The majority of his records are missing, but it's fine. The copper is where he should be, and everything is about as it should be. Oh god, he's still sick. His records are missing? It's possible. He definitely had a hand in this. The missing records need to be recreated, right? How could I have forgotten about that? Hmm. Right. Well, go finish your task now. I don't want to see you loitering around here. Oh, I think the Jedi mind trick is wearing off. Mr. Thradix, Miss Paimon, welcome back! Damn, that one quest? Jeez. Joey? Hmm, <laughs> yes, sir. We brought quite the hole back today. Our current standards should be... Dang it! We only just pulled ahead of Darcy. That's great. We're not in last place anymore. But there are four of us. Just the four of us. We can make it if we try. <laughs> Just the four of us. Yeah, and we're... No, wait, that's Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're doing great. Oh, we're doing... <laughs> no, it's not flat to the four <laughs> I like for this some reason, the first for some reason I was thinking like okay oki I mean okie dokie why did I say okie dokie you know like that song like four girls of of wave me okay I'll see what the you know, something about like a okay uh doki doki Blazers love uh band song I just forget mm -hmm. that was you know love. yeah yeah uh let me try to find it uh oh so it's not like the main theme that is okay. this a fan made? Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. okay, let me just look it up and I'll just put it in your like then. But are we really gonna be okay like this? We still have two big hurdles ahead of us. You promised me we'd win for sure, right? Catter? Okay. Oh, ah, here we go. Uh, that's right, so don't worry too much, you two. I know that may sound strange, but... Uh... I am sorry, I'm trying to... Oh, found it. There we go. Uh... <laughs> uh, sometimes forgetting about the out... The out... The outcome and... Well, oops, sorry. No, you're good. Enjoying the fun to be had in the process isn't a bad way to go. Okay, if you say so. Oh, speaking of that, Caterpillar, we received an invitation from that guy who was in first place earlier. But he was super rude, and he said that you're, uh... Um, anyway, it was very nice of him. <laughs> I don't know why that... What happened between you two? Just some minor differences of opinion. He invited me to join him as well, but having no real reason to accept, I declined his off off offer. Eh, English. Later, he tried to get some of his lackeys to teach me a lesson. Boy, weren't they in it for a lecture from me? It's oh, true, God, I no have. <laughs> Actually, I was gonna let that one slide, but yep. <laughs> it's true, I am a monster. The 
kind of people like me, like him, would do well not to provoke. Well, damn. damn. Yeah, he per per but yet, yeah. he but yet, yeah, he <laughs> they call me Caterpillar. Why does that look like, a, like Captain America or something for some reason? <laughs> D don't say that. Surely you didn't end up this way because you wanted to, right, Caterpillar? <laughs> oh, you sweet number chat. Now you child. I cannot speak. <laughs> if Cat <clears throat> if Catter is a monster, then he's one of the good ones. Just like how there are good sorcerers and bad sorcerers. <sighs> yeah. What's the matter? Are you sleepy, Lenoir? Mm-hmm. But I haven't heard the rest of yesterday's story yet. If you're tired, you should go for an early night. Mr. Thradix, Miss Paimon, will we still meet again tomorrow? Why are you asking that all of a sudden? If... If you don't want to be on the same team as us anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. What are you talking about? Didn't we say we get first place? There are still two more teams ahead of us. So we have to make tomorrow count. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you're right. Oh, oh, oh goodness. <laughs> I was like, I like the commitment, but are you okay? <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Let's do our best tomorrow. Sweet dreams, Mr. Thradix. Sweet dreams, Miss Paimon. Oh, excuse me, I have to click. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Here comes the story. Uh, oh, you're up first. Oh, okay. Where we left off, the witch told the little girl that she must use her magic to help her leave the giant's garden if the little girl brought her the little purple flowers she needed. I'm really sleepy, but I want to know what happens next. What did the little girl do? Did the witch cure her friend in the end? And it's all you, Joey. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Although the giant had warned little girl of the many dangers of the, out the world beyond the garden wall, the little girl had never seen what the outside world was like. So she didn't know what danger, I repeat, danger even was. She told the voice of the other side of the wall that she would help her bring some of the little purple flowers. So many identical flowers were growing in this garden, and each looked as beautiful as the next. She didn't know why the, the giant treasured each and every one of them so. The little girl heard laughter from the other side of the wall, later with a, bo a bouquet of flowers in her hand. The little girl rode... Wait, ro wait, what? Rode? A gust of wind over the wall to the world outside. Did I have to read that right? Yeah, she yeah. rode a gust of wind. Okay. Oh dear God! <laughs> the tall, the tall witch took the purple flowers from the little girl's hands. The little girl, thinking she had done a good deed, was very pleased with herself. But when she tried to return to the garden, she discovered the wall, the garden, a giant were no longer there. Oh, it's still you there, um, quoting the what the little girl's saying. Oh, oh, okay. I guess I have to. Good witch, I like to return to the giant's. Uh, garden now. Could you please use your magic to take me back? Still you. The little girl asks. Oh, dang it. But yes, my sweetie, but what can you give me in, re in exchange now? The witch explained. Oh, God. I don't trust that witch. Huh? And then the little girl couldn't go back? Oh, wait, that's you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> huh? Then the little girl couldn't go back? I'm glad the witch could save her friend, but I don't like this story. Uh, the, the, I, I, everyone has stories that they don't like. Then I'll tell you a story next time, Cater. Cater? 
What? What? Whatever. <laughs> is, is, it, is that name? I, I have to sleep now. I'm sleepy. All right. This is about as bad as Sumeru's names. Good morning. We didn't get more coupons today. I don't know why Paimon's voice changed. <laughs> <laughs> Good heavens, Paimon. What happened? So that would be. I think I'm gonna look that fast. Ah. I don't know the time thing go away though. So somewhere around here. Aha! Oh, that arrow might. That one arrow might do. Young warrior, will you spar with me? Uh, this is super sudden. Whatever you say, lad with golden hair. I can tell well, that you're a veteran with just one look. Well, that sounds like like a oh, really like a romance uh, uh, like a title like the blonde. So I don't know. It's just like the. Like what you <laughs> it said, it sounds like... a little romantic, yeah. I'm really bored because no one has been sparring with me. If you win, I'll give you coupons. I won a lot of those from Rousimov. And I haven't figured out yeah, how. Yeah. Rousimov. 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 Okay. Rousimov. And I haven't figured out how to spend them yet. Oh, I'm getting those coupons. How about it? Just what I need. Ah! Good. You're a straight talker. Let's go somewhere spacious. You are not welcome here. Hold the line. Go! Ha! Ha! Yuh! Jesus Christ. Ha! Exhilarating. What happened? I looked away for one second. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. It's like one second fight. I knew it, lad. You're a worthy opponent. You have some weight. No, I'm not going to be that mean. <laughs> You're not bad either. It's not bad. I just happen to be a virgin user. Yeah. It seems I need to work harder. I don't think there's anything you could do to resist Virgin, bro. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm a straight shooter, just like you. Here are your coupons. Let's do this again sometime. Just like you. <laughs> oh, more. Okay. Wait, no. All right, there's no quest in there. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? No, I'm teleporting. Speaking of bells, if that allows me, thank you. Oh, there's two. Okay. <laughs> You're on that level. You're on that level. Okay. Just to memorize them. Definitely wrong with those yellow green stones. I think I'm going to die here. Um, are you all right? In the long run, we'll be fine. But I'm going to be fine before you are. Okay, then, sure. <laughs> 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 I 
That's certainly a, a new way to use the word fine. It's fine. It's fine. You don't sound fine at all. No, I'm fine. Literally. If something's wrong, it's too late anyway. Wait, I don't think that's the voice I gave him. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll wing it. <laughs> He's just an old man. Don't even worry about it. So, are you alright or not? Paimon's very confused. Can you please be more specific? Uh, I could do the... Specifically speaking! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. When I come to production zone, I get headaches and heart palpitations. And my hands and feet grow cold. I'm done for. Do you know what I mean? I'm done for. Oh god. My throat. Oh god. No, commitment. I must hang in there. It must be the yellow green stones. They're evil. You know of those stones, right? The central laboratory of the Fontaine Research Institute? The yellow green stones destroyed everything. Oh, I think I have some of the stones he's talking about, actually. Yeah, I've picked up some of them, too. Why don't you rest up in the infirmary? I don't know what to do with them, but I have them. I am a doctor! I know! Wait, I'm no longer a doctor. I lost my certification, but still! But and I can't give official diagnosis. Please, find a real doctor with certifications to save me. Please. I mean, wouldn't that just be Seedwing? This sounds pretty serious. Let's go find a doctor, Thradix. Oh, this is a... Oh, this is an unrelated quest, isn't it? Uh, no, no, um, you can still do that one for coupons. See, there's a oh. coupon reward. Yeah. Okay. Scenes in the life of Marriage P give, uh, coupon rewards. There's a couple of them even after you finish this quest. Okay. So I don't forget, let me at least grab this quest early on. Let's look how them both tracked. What are you trying to grab? Uh, the one over here. I'm too far away to see it, but yeah, it's over there. Oh. Why I took the long way, I don't know, but there's a shiny. I mean, it's not really the long way. There's only one teleport waypoint up there. December? December. December. Can anyone It's help basically you? December. It is December. <laughs> yeah, that's So if you ever get sounds... confused, just call him December. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> it definitely does have that similarity I was about to say. Can anyone help me? Please. I'm begging you. Help this poor soul. Are you alright? Oh, thank Your goodness. Soul. <laughs> Finally, some kind people. You see, it's my son's birthday tomorrow. And I'd like to send him a letter. But to get a letter sent out to the fortress, out of this fortress of Meripede, you have to queue up here. And I don't have the time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh. Huh? I just remembered who Desombra is. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should do this quest first then. <laughs> I mean, they'll both give you coupons. It's fine. There was a major safety incident in the production zone. So I have to get there immediately. I was hoping someone could stand in line for me, but... <sighs> I know this is what I deserve. But my son is innocent. Why should he have to pay for my crimes too? So dramatic. All I want is a- Hey. To send him a letter so he knows his father hasn't forgotten his birthday and loves him very much. 
But I can't even do that. Poor guy. We'll help him out, won't we, Thradix? Again, volunteering. Yeah. I, I guess we will, Paimon. Jeez. You will? I don't have much in the way of money on me right now, but I'll be sure to pay you a fair price for your trouble based on the market average. The market average? Yes. I've lined up for other people before, so I know the going rate. It's alright. Don't sweat it. No, what the fuck? I do want rewards, Paimon. Paimon, what the heck? We're happy to help. God damn it, Paimon. We needed the coupons! Thank you so much. You're great people. Oh, I forgot to ask for your names. I'm the Samre. And you? Paimon is Paimon, and he is Thradix. We're adventure buddies. Well, it's good to meet you, Paimon. Thradix. Here's a letter. You send it to Lutz over there. Your lifesavers. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll take care of it. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we got this. <laughs> the samurai leaves in a hurry after handing over the letter. A long time passes before you and Paimon notice that the short queue hasn't moved an inch. You could be here for a while. Suddenly, your attention is drawn to a conversation between two people behind you. Ugh, this is taking for- Are you fucking serious? What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> it's there staring at me it? in the face. Ugh. They uh. love to do that to you. <laughs> it's, it's, they love to make sure you see a chest. Oh, it's just taking forever. And the air is so stuffy here. I can barely breathe. First time queuing here, huh, kid? Welcome to the infamous slowest queue in the Fortress of Meripede. Surprised you never heard of it. Let's have the tendency to slow things down by embellishing the letters as he types them out. Can't help himself. Then, of course, we have to check through them all over again to make sure we're happy with it. Blah, blah, blah. Are you kidding me? God, going weak at the knees. Hey, yo. <laughs> ah, weak in the knees. Hang in there, buddy. If you pass out, you'll only have to start all over again tomorrow. It's happened before, you know. One guy is on this on his third visit and still hasn't managed to send his letter. Third visit? Jeez. No, sucks to be him. No. <laughs> you bet it does. <laughs> He's all a beat up. <laughs> you bet it does suck. It takes a special kind of bad luck to fail three times in a row. He's a legend at the Maropede queuing community. We call him Unlucky Desambre. Oh. Uh, <laughs> That's why I said I remembered Desambre. If you're interested, Desambre. I can tell you more about him. To be honest, I'm not really in the mood. And don't care. Ah, oh, come on, cheer up! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it all started the day before yesterday. It was sweltering hot that afternoon. I said I'm not... Ugh, whatever. Carry on. The Sumbra came to meet me that afternoon, saying he had to line up... Oh my god, my head. <laughs> I think switching between all the voices so something's giving me a little bit of a headache. I got this stuff. Yeah, I get Don't worry. That. No, no, it, it roughed me up when I did that one quest with Paimon and the child. I tore up my throat. <laughs> Saying he had to line up to send a letter the following day. He asked me if I could cover his shift Ooh. as a porter in the coupon cafeteria. I was gonna say no, but because it sounded like more trouble than it was worth. No, because it sounded like it was more trouble. 
But he gave me the old puppy eyes and said how he'd missed his chance the last time because he overslept and how his son was still waiting for his letter. So I took pity on him and agreed to help him out. But guess what I saw when I got off work yesterday? I saw him looking for someone else to cover his work. And the excuse was still the same. He needed to send a letter. So I went over and asked him what happened. He said he'd learned from his mistakes and woke up early in the morning to queue up. But he still didn't manage to send a letter due to unforeseen complications. Don't tell me. He joined the wrong line. No, but that's almost as funny as what actually happened. He skipped breakfast to get in the line early. But by the afternoon, he was running on empty and starting to lose it. He tried to push through it, but suddenly everything went black. And there was a loud thud. He was out cold. And by the time he regained consciousness, they were closed for the day. I love how they just let him lay on the floor. It's like, damn. <laughs> what a loser! Wait, did I? I don't think I had anything to eat either. Crumbs. Now my stomach's starting to growl. Didn't they say, Mr. Desombre? Paimon doesn't realize what we'd line up for. Good thing we always have food with us for emergencies. <laughs> yep, and Paimon too. <laughs> Gotta keep up the meme. Hmm. That, that didn't very nice. What? But Paimon can't put her finger on why. Didn't sound very nice. I'm pretty sure they meant to write. Hey, she forgot the meme? Come on, Paimon, you know the meme. Going for a long time gets tedious and tiring. You start to forget your purpose here. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, the occasional background noise and chatter serves to remind you that, despite how it feels, time is indeed moving. I'm feeling lightheaded. Man, I, I really hope I don't have to do this all over again tomorrow. Eat this. You need something in your stomach. Next time, remember to bring food and water when you go on a lo long queue. Thank you. But it's crazy that you're talking about this queue like it's a marathon. Ha! <laughs> Listen up, maggot. Whoa, damn. This hey. is the most brutal, godforsaken slice of hell in the whole fortress of Maripede. It makes... Pankatron looked like a walk in the park. But it's just... Every queuer worth their salt knows the plan properly before committing to join the line. Some people bring a stool for rest breaks, and some of the more hardcore folks even have been known to camp outside the entrance the night before. But it's just a queue? This is no ordinary. <laughs> this is no ordinary crew, rookie. This you. This is war. Everyone is expected to give hundred and ten percent. Even unlucky the Sombre has multiple contingencies. The God damn it. Contingency <laughs> plans. Hmm. Sadly, the best late plans are no match for fate. On my way back from the production zone earlier. I saw him leaving the line and heading into the direction of the coupon cafeteria. So I asked him, Hey, aren't you supposed to be in the queue? And do you know what his answer was? He'd gotten so fixated on queuing that he forgot the most important thing at all. of all. He didn't bring his letter with him. So he had to leave and come back. Are you fucking serious? I really have to meet this guy. Sounds like quite the a character. What? He forgot his letter? Man, the Sombre's luck is really is terrible. Wait, then what did he give us? Didn't he give us his letter? 
Right! He handed it to us. Pipeline is getting... It's getting to get pretty confused. Let's take a peek at it. It's my love, my dearest Monsieur Nouvellet. Oh. Monsieur. Monsieur. I know not how many days and nights have passed since our previous trial. My dreams have been filled with longing for your face. So kind. So handsome. Mm -hmm. It excites me. Agitates me to know I that I shall be <laughs> leaving this place. And that I shall see you once more. As I said, I will do anything. Anything to see you again. And I can wait no longer. Indeed, not one moment more. For you to castigate me. Your humble defendant. And this time, I promise, I swear, you will remember my name. Your admirer, White Lily. <laughs> what the fuck did I just read? <laughs> yeah, let's see what he wrote. Whoa! What the heck is all this? Paimon does it anything. Does it anything? About a birthday or Mr. It's this song by Paimon doesn't see. Yeah, anything. there's a lot of typos in this quest line, I'm, I noticed. Weird. Well, just the two, but still. For all we no, know, they're misspelling names. <laughs> True. It's almost our turn. Shall we head, hand in the letter? Well, you might as well. I can't believe we're going to send that to poor Nivellet. <laughs> He doesn't deserve this. <laughs> As your torturous ordeal approaches the end, you reassure yourself that this has all been worth it. But your questions remain unanswered. A chapter has closed, but the story continues. Hmm. Better than nothing. Hey, it's me! Whew, I made it! Just in time! Uh, bruh. Why are you so out of breath? I just finished up at the abandoned production zone and ran all the way here. So it's done? The letter's been sent? Great! Your white lily? Oh! So that's the name she gave herself. Alright, to tell you the truth, a young woman asked me to send this letter for her. She looked really sick to me, so I agreed. And I didn't even take a single mora. I'm paying for your compensation out of my own pocket. Huh? Looking at the contents of the letter, she does seem very sick indeed. Ah, I don't think the sick is... Alright. I guess I must have grabbed the wrong letter on my way out. Fiddlesticks! The birthday letter will never get there in time now. Wait, really? So you finally got your letter posted, but it was the wrong one? Wow! You really living up to your nickname, Desombre! Fate is a cruel mistress. Huh. I'd love to stay and chat, but I gotta rush home and get the right letter now. I hope there's still time. Here's your compensation. Pleasure queuing business with you. Ah, see what you did there. Ooh, I got 15 crystal fly cores for my trap. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna I'm set it again in the same spot. Now to post that blasted letter to my son. See you. Uh, why do you have to leave? Paimon still has a ton of questions for him. Never mind. At least we got some coupons. <laughs> huh? Is this all? It's not even a me one meal's worth. Guess we're going hungry tonight. Yeah. No! Paimon's so hungry! Wah! I feel I felt a passion from that one. <laughs> At least
they say on the other mission you can do? Oh, right, yeah. Let me go do that one before. And don't forget about the old man! The old man that has a different accent every time you meet. <laughs> <laughs> He's so committed. Oh, man, can wait in your shrines. Alright. Ardernay? Uh, that's how you say his name? How do you say that name? Ardern, maybe the E is silent? It, yeah, maybe the E is silent. Ardern? Ardern? Maybe it's more of a Darn. Ardern? Ardern. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I could yeah. be wrong. Yes. Again. Yeah. <laughs> well, my, no, my, my, my French knowledge comes from high school, like a decade ago. Are you in trouble? What? Jacob and what? Uh, I'm kind of out of voices here. Let's see. Uh, I oh, usually yeah. I I do more of like the I try to act the way like I think they would be acting more than trying to do voices because doing a bunch of different voices is just exhausting after a while. Yeah. But he is a doctor, under so hmm. What a doctor silent. Well, confident for sure. Are you in trouble? Or are, or are others in trouble? You both look healthy, so it must be the latter. <laughs> Indeed! <laughs> Explain the old man's situation. Him again? Huh. <laughs> I love Can how both of the missions are just dealing with troublesome people. <laughs> I know! It's like, oh, him again. His headache? Or his delusions. Huh? You mean he's not that sick? Based on his lab results, most likely not. I heard that he misdiagnosed a patient when he was still on the outside, ignoring some early warning results and healthcare outcome. Well, he's been a little paranoid ever since. Mm, that's probably how he wound up in the prison. He's like that to others, and worse when it comes to himself. How about the yellow green stones? No one else is having the same health issues, right? But I can't very well ignore him, so please give him this. Isn't this pure water? Are you sure? Oh, so you know what it is. It's fine in the sense that it does no harm to the body, and it'll give him a boost. So he doesn't know. As far as I know, he stays away from these drinks. But I give it to him, I give it to him before. Telling him it was a health potion. <laughs> wow. And he did actually show more vigor after drinking it. Alright, we'll give this to him. If it doesn't work... Then tell him to go lie down in the infirmary. If you tell him it's doctor's orders, he'll listen. Sure, let's go back, Theradix. Damn, I just came back. Why is this so quiet? Oh, <laughs> Welcome um, back. In between lines. Yeah, me sprinting to the well, old man. I was gonna say, I, I got scary in here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the scare. Nah, it's alright. Oh, Painted! Hello! I Painted! Let me give you a Oh my god, I... He probably typed that like Greetings, ages ago. Welcome, I'm Bienvenue. so sorry, Painted. Can we give shit out you, of you know I know some French uh, because I said Bienvenue. Uh, he texted four minutes ago and 
Nice, nice French, nice French. <laughs> Make sure to get painted more passion, all here, more energy. More passion, more energy. Hey, more passion, Dungeon. more energy. No, it's precious. Okay. And my eyebrow. What is happening? What is happening here? Because my body is weird. What the fuck? I'm looking at Hu Tao in this clip. Um, <laughs> sus moments in Genshin. Oh yeah, I love the weird god dang glitches. Yeah, it's always fun when they happen. Yeah, it's so silly. I love it. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> There's oh yeah, you have you seen the have you seen the like the people um pole dancing? I don't think so. You have to yeah, show there to me. you can you can pole dance in Genji. <laughs> oh god. Basically, oh, I... you just you climb on a pole and then Instead of going up when you do your little jump thing, you go sideways and you just twirl around the pole. Oh, yeah. I, I can already imagine how that animation is going to look like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not like for real, for real, but like, it's it's just a silly little, <laughs> look at them, they're twirling around the pole. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We're back. The doctor gave us this, gave you this. The old man takes the pure water, drinks it on. Ugh! Me, that's better. Freaker fills me once again. That's it? Wasn't that's that a little it. too fast? Isn't he's a silly old man? Arthur is a really good doctor, and certified too. The medicine he prescribes always works, unlike mine. But what about the yellow and green stones? Suspicious, of course. Ah, uh, I guess his delusions can't be helped. No, I can keep working. Thank you so much for helping out. Here, take these coupons. Just a little something to show my appreciation. Stay healthy. I just, I find the whole concept of the Fortress of Maripede so funny. Because they're like, here, you can go to prison, but almost nothing will change. It's still capitalism. But at least you get one free meal a day. But also, if your prison sentence is up, you can also just choose to never leave. Yay! <laughs> That is pretty wholesome for a prison. I know, it's like, it's so odd, cause I'm just standing there and I'm like, why? Why? Huh. Oh wait. I forgot what, what voice I gave her. Um... Wow. Oh, Genevieve? Oh. One of yeah. the easiest names to read. <laughs> uh... Let's be direct, shall we? Alright. I'm hoping you'll join us in launching a protest against... Estienne. Huh? Since you're taking part in this game as well, I think you'll understand my position. The rules should be more open and transparent. What's the catch? The competition should restart with the new rules in place. All the hard work we've done so far for nothing? What's so crazy about it? It happens all the time in academia. You realize that there's an error in your thesis or methodology. Methodology. Fuck, I know how to say that word, I just can't get it out. Methodology. Oh, fuck. Method I yeah, methodology. It's, it's one of those I know how to say the word, it's just I can't get it out. And it completely invalidates the conclusion you arrived at after years of research. Pretty sure that's nothing like this. Maybe for the next time he runs the game, just play it as if 
as it is this time around. Indeed, iterate, iterating and improving the rules will take time. We may not be able to get them implemented until the next time the game is held. No, I need this game to be fair. To me, delayed fairness is a pointless loss. I've lost so much already because of this. Hmm, Paimon thinks you no. have the right idea. But this isn't a decision that can be made just by us, right? Maybe you could ask the others as well. SCN will only change the subject. And as for Rave, you kids had better keep your guard up around him. Yeah, we noticed. Us kids? Hmm. That kind of grinds Paimon's gears. But you know what really grinds really my gears? <laughs> <laughs> I, f I feel like Traveler needs to straight up just start saying how old they are. Because, like... Come on now. <laughs> like, the number of times they're told, well, you can't have alcohol yet. Bro is a fully functioning adult. Just because he's short. You're being so rude. <laughs> like, I know they're doing it because the people playing this game are probably children, but still. Yeah. Well, then, at the beginning of the game, you're just like, how old are you, and et cetera, et cetera. But then again, I know some people can lie, but either way, it could... And be like, know. oh yeah, I'm over 500, so... <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure they're in the, the millions, maybe? Oh, for real? Conria oh, was yeah. that no, long ago? They're, li listen, listen, they're at least in thousands. No, Conria is not that long ago. No, 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 no. But Traveler is at least thousands of years old. Okay. Because they existed before Conria. Mm. No, Conria what? was like 400, 500 years ago? Um, something like that? Okay. Anyway, thanks for the tip, but Paimon's not sure we can help you. Fine, I anticipated as much. Then I'll leave it to you. L leave you to it. Good luck out there. My luck hasn't exactly been great, but I won't be throwing in the towel that easily. Uh, okay. Paimon also hopes that your luck improves. What? What's that guard doing here? Oh, it's him. Just who I was looking for. Did something happen? The investigation's ongoing, so I can't disclose any specifics to you, uh, however, I'd like you to answer a few of my questions. As you probably know, the missing records need to be re recreated. This isn't necessarily bad news for him, but without those records, he won't be able to leave this place even if he has legal- legal- fuck. Legally redeemed himself. As such. I hope you can answer my questions honestly. Do you know when Caterpillar arrived in the Fortress of Meripede? Um, he just said he came here a long time ago, so we don't know when exactly. Then I don't suppose you know the specifics of his sentence or crime? No, we don't. Do you know anything about his master, he mentioned earlier? Paimon doesn't remember Caterpillar mentioning him before. Have either of you observed anything peculiar happen while speaking to him? I mean, the stories he tells have a rather hypnotic effect. Hi hypnotic? What stories? What are they about? They're just children's fairy tales. They're not about anything important. Interesting well. you op opted to bring that up. I straight up chose to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mm, no, no, nothing's wrong. 
Well, Chuchu like you shouldn't even be here to begin with. If you end up leaving this place, I hope you don't come back. Okay. Is, is that a threat? Huh? Uh, okay. That's enough questions for today. Doesn't seem like you know very much. But if you do notice anything strange, make sure to report it at once. It's for your own good. Looks like we don't know much about Caterpillar after all. But if he doesn't want to talk about his crime or sentence, or anything like that, Paimon thinks we better not press him. I'm not really concerned anything about like that. But he does seem a little sus. Suspicious, huh? Well, he is kind of mysterious. Well, alright, yeah. Mysterious is the better word, not suspicious. But whatever the case, he's oh, doing a good no. deed right now, isn't he? La Noir seems to really trust him as well. So he's probably not a bad guy, at least for now, right? You can never go wrong with a little caution. Yeah. After you wait patiently for a little while, Caliputer and La Noir oh. return. Mr. Threadix, Miss Paimon, you bo you're both so fast. I got carried away talking to Miss Galvana. She even gave me some candy. She said they're made from a fruit that grows on the trees in a desert oasis. Could those be... Probably the Ajili blah, 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 nuts or whatever. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking those, yeah. Uh, I think I think actually that's the the candied whatever those nuts are is actually Nahida's signature dish. <laughs> so basically, she's telling us that she um, tried out Galvana's nuts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I asked her what kind of place a desert oasis might be. And she said it's a little body of water surrounded by a vast sea of sand. Girl don't even know what sand is. <laughs> I know. I'm, is this... I mean, there might be sand, but... Doesn't it sound just like the fortress? Except, you know, opposite? Since this place is surrounded by water? Well, there is, like, that window, right? So she probably sees the sand on the ocean She's seen floor. water. She's seen water. I know that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Once you leave this place, maybe you'll go there and see it for yourself. That reminds me. After all the hard work we've done, we must have advanced by now, right? Joey, you're up. Hey, speaking of that, I asked, uh... Epstein, and here's where things start stay, staying at ice at the moment. Heck, <laughs> that. English. Go figure. <laughs> uh, things stand at the moment. I... Oh, sorry. You good. Looks, you mean we basically haven't advanced at all? How could that be? Looks like the competition's been hard at work, too. I don't know why I'm, like, tilting my head die. to read. Don't die! Where is this dude? He needs to get his butt back here. You're up, Joey. Indeed. Uh, Rave uh, has some contacts in the researcher and detective's assistants. will have their own ways. Surely this isn't the time to be signing our rival's praises. Singing. God damn it. Is there really nothing we can do? We're definitely gonna lose at this rate. We're gonna lose? But if we lose, we can... We can all stay here in the fortress, right? Joey. Uh, we talked about this before, uh, Lorian. If, if we stay here, we'll have to worry each day about being taken away by evil sorcerers. Then I guess it would be better to leave, but Miss Paimon said we're definitely gonna lose. 
Way to go, Paimon. Yeah, good one, Paimon. <laughs> we're, we're not gonna lose. The game is not over yet. There's still enough time. We're gonna win this. An underdog victory would be more exciting. The fact of the matter is, there are only two teams ahead of us. We've got nothing to worry about. Uh, there isn't much left until the deadline uh, is uh, set. Sorry, I'm too sleepy to read his name. Uh, let's just meet <laughs> at the message the message board in the uh, administration area next time. Oh, there isn't much time left until the final results are announced, is there? Paimon has a feeling she's gonna toss and turn in bed tonight. You can tell me in secret if you feel scared, Miss Paimon. Ugh, seriously? A kid like you worried about Paimon? What the fuck, Paimon? Wow. No, it's like Paimon more like she's hard on herself. Oh, okay. You're the ones who should be scared. Paimon hopes oh, you'll have, have sweet dreams, La Noir. Don't worry. There you go. I've had lots of nice ones. In fact, I wish I could give some of those to two, to the two of you. Aww. We can get more story time from Joey. Wait, what? <laughs> story time with Joey. Oh, oh wait, Jake no, no, no. It's, uh, apparently it's my turn, yeah. Yay! <laughs> It's my turn to tell the, tell a story. I've heard enough stories to tell one of my own now. Oh, I got me a lemon meringue pie. Oh, oh nice. Ooh. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Pie. Oh wait. I haven't had pie in so long. Feels like heaven. Tastes like heaven too, I'm sure. <laughs> Joey, this is your this is your line. Just one. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's my, oh wait, alrighty, you can be the storyteller this time. Okay, wait. Oh wait, no, that's me. Okay, my story will also begin in the giant's garden. Long, long ago, in a garden full of purple flowers, there lived a prince, a princess, and a brave hero. Oh, and the ruler of the garden, a giant with a nasty temper. What the witch wanted more than anything were some of the purple flowers. But the mean giant treasured them so much that he wouldn't let anyone pick even a single one. Kind hearty Mr. Giant? The witch. The witch asked. The witch asked. I am in need of a little purple flowers from your garden. You have so many already. Could you please share just one with me? But then the mean giant refused. Every flower in, the, in my garden belongs to me, the giant shouted. I won't share them with anyone. Kind-hearted Mr. Hearted Mr. Giant. The witch continued. No, why? It's still her voice. God damn it. <laughs> the witch continued. Oh. <laughs> Double ring. Oh, wow. Yep. How's it going, Raiders? How was stream? Can we How's please give a shout out to the Steam Lovely people? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see. I can see. Yeah, I can see. Double screen for us, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's pretty epic, bro. Oh my god. Yes, this should be me. Okay. Yep, alright, this should be... How'd the stream go? I'm assuming it was, your no, guys were playing that warrior You see, game I don't want you to hit time. at all, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stream was good, killed a few gods. Nice! <laughs> God damn you big! God slayers. Hey, Warframe! I don't remember you being this big. Wait. God fuck it. They were playing... Oh, the fuck damn. No, no, the, the clip they're, they're, Oh. Uh, no, actually, I was also talking about like when I gave a shout out to Lumi. Like I said, no game at all. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Stream elements being a butt again. I don't even have anything to play clips when when I have shout outs. Oh, but you do have the follower. No, you do have the raid thing. I remember seeing something. Like No, I don't have the clip thing. Oh, okay. That's what I was saying, is that I don't have I don't have the thing for clips, specifically. Kind hearted, Mr. Giant? The witch continued. Please hear my tale. I traveled here from a fountain in a far off distant land. An oceanid there has fallen ill. And the scent of those purple flowers brings her comfort. If you could give me just one of them, perhaps her condition will improve. But the giant who didn't have an ounce of compassion in his heart callously refused the witch's request. What did an ocean in a faraway land have to do with him? Then, the witch asked, Is there anything I can do for you? I know many magic spells, and I could use my magic to help you with someone in exchange. Will you agree to my request, kind-hearted Mr. Giant? The giant thought it over, then said that he'd lost something very important to him. If the witch could use her magic to help him find it... Oh, Joe. That's... Oh. So they made a deal? Yep! In the end, the witch's friend recovered and the giant found what he had lost. Isn't that a better story? At least in this story, everyone gets a happy ending. Uh, that's the yes, the how's the game going? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> the game's going great. Lots of reading, lots of work on my voice acting. <laughs> Also, I pro I totally didn't do anything just to get their attention. Just saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did nothing. Mm -hmm. I did nothing. I just recommend it. Or suggest. That's the proper word. Thank you for reading, Josh, but I'm gonna go, like, uh, I'll be lurking, though. Bye, Looney. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, Looney. And, and please get your rest. You too, Zero. You've both been streaming for a long time. But also with that with sleeping, talk about sleeping, I should at least go offline for tonight because I at least did my thing, but I need to ask Zero something. I don't know if he's staying or anything like that, but uh, let me just ask. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Where's, oh my where's fucking god, I forgot. Ugh, oh, goddammit. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? Hello everyone, my name is Stratix, I'm a white <laughs> <laughs> feet. <laughs> I it's should okay, remember I video games and art. I'll get good at this, I swear. <laughs> Thank you for choosing me for serving tonight. But there, there's that in my spiel. It's okay. It's like a human, it's a human thing or literally a living thing to do. It's just like to forget, like, wait a minute. <laughs> good. It happens to everyone. I mean, I almost never give a spiel. I'm just like, hello. And then I just keep doing what I'm doing. Okay, so partially related but partially unrelated. Am I the only one that's incredibly bothered by the fact that based off the color scheme, Cloud Retainer looks like she's gonna be Animo, but both of her disciples are cryo users? Yeah, that is kind of weird. I expect a more variety between them. Well, I was just expecting she would be a cryo user. <laughs> You think so? I'm a little bothered. She is, yeah, because both of her disciples use cryo. Huh. Okay. Plus, based off of her coloration as a bird, I just kind of assumed she would use cryo. So the fact that she's animo kind of startles me a bit. Yeah, I can see why. Do you know what uh kind of weapon she uses? Is she a polearm sword? No idea. I don't think they've leaked that information yet. They just gave the character splash art, and that's it. Okay. You two, please wait. I hear you're people of leisure who never turn down a request. Oh. 
And oh, wait, I no, see a zero. I think, was, I think that was you, actually, that did the voice. Oops. Wait, did I? You did not see a zero. You just see a uh, Kirby flying. Everywhere. Hey, zero. Hello, everyone. Hello, zero. Hi, zero. Oh, hello. hello, wolf. Yeah. What's going on, man? What's going on, buddy? What's happening? Did I say something wrong? No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> you're I fine. think there's just like a cutscene and all that. Oh. I think, I, I don't know. Yeah, I was just waiting for... Like that. Oh, I didn't want to interrupt you guys, so... <laughs> We're too nice for our own good, I swear. <laughs> I know. Mayo needs a pirate skin. Because she's oh, yeah. a pirate, but she doesn't look pirate enough. How can you not be pirate? Hold on. <laughs> like, hold on. Uh, dear, when you get a chance, I want to show you what I made, you know, for you. Oh, I'm... You want a sec? You two, please wait. I hear you. Oh, wait, I'm right that way. God damn it. Look at me. And just who told you that? Who's that for? <laughs> this is your smiling one. This is like your hype, hype, your, your happy one. Hi, that. <laughs> and also, for my weight, I will message you my. Well, no, the hype. You said hype. Mm -hmm. Oh, you said you put whatever you were working on in no mic, right? Oh, me? Oh, no, no, oh, no. It's oh. currently streaming. It's currently streaming. I just gotta go confirm this real quick. Uh, how is... Well, rumors. Just rumors. It's rumors. Lots of rumors. How's your stream going so far, Brad? Going good. Little number on my voice, but I figured like the more I do it, the more I'll get used to it and hopefully get better at it. Yeah, you got this, toy. Thanks, man, for believing Welcome. in me. Always do, <laughs> always do, brother. You know that. <laughs> Actually, a girl in the purple dress asked me to take care of you. Girl there you go, Joey. Dress. Thank you. Also, do you, do you like your uh, stuff, brush? Let me see. Uh, I gotta make this pop it up. I feel like I. It looks like I died. <laughs> it looks. It looks like my soul has left my body. If you want, I can give her the wink. Cause when you close your eyes, when you smile, like. Hmm. Hmm. It's just like. It's like I'm like. Ah. Just smiling, smiling, wink, uh, boys. I've been so slammed at work. Smiling. I just realized I forgot to do my Sunday grind. For yeah, let me tell you what I mean. Wait, today's Sunday? Sunday? I do. No. <laughs> oh. That's the problem. <laughs> oh. I forgot oh. to do it on Sunday. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I didn't do mine either. I would say, yeah, for the blink, I say we can remove it while we have with the smile and keep the blink. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> But I love it though. Holy crap, it looks so good. <laughs> this looks good, Dio. I love it, Dio. Thank you. And this is for feet? Or because for this it does if it does it. Yeah. Well, I could I could definitely use that. I'd be like Hello. Let's see. Hi. Oh fine. Right. Go. Uh I'm asking because it does centimeters, so is that feet? Ah, uh, I think that's that. I think it's height. To be honest, it's it's height. From what from my paper says, it said show him, show him. Um, Great to see him, and that is okay. Oh, oh actually, you'll be taller if I don't move it. You you will literally be shorter if I touch anything. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yes. I don't want to be shorter again. <laughs> Already short, King. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Where did uh, you go? I don't know. Uh... What has happened? I don't know. I don't know that. What's what happened? Uh... Not my mo- it, 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 uh, The model for me. I, oh, uh, oh, okay. Oh, there it is. Also, I'm sorry if I'm interrupting talking in game. Good. Oh, this, I know. this is what the VC is for, you know? Friends yeah. hanging out. Yeah. Mm. Also gives oh. me an excuse to rest my voice. <laughs> <Still> <laughs> yes, you, you guys do you. You need to rest your voice, man. 
Do you have water with you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, make sure you drink some water. Stay hydrated, buddy. Mm. Um... No, what? which place is this, though? This must be a lot more further in in Genshin. Oh, well, in, term, in terms of story. Prison! <laughs> this is prison? Yes. <laughs> A prison so where prison... the guards basically don't care, and there are no prisoner uniforms, so... You don't know who's in there just to, like, bring materials from the outside, and who's actually a criminal. <laughs> also, not... when you finish that doesn't the sentence, even so... <laughs> you can choose whether or not you even want to leave. <laughs> what? This sounds like a cartoon of, uh, like, Cell, like, the Power Girl Girls is like, Oh, you can leave. <laughs> what? The heck, Dio? <laughs> what is this, yeah. Dio? This That's is supposed to be prison. This is a nicer the prison than anything. The fortress of Maripede works. We put you in here. You're able to go do whatever you want. And when and when is your time? We do have, you can you can choose that or stay or go. The choice is yours. Oh, the funniest thing was when I was doing the story quest, and I thought for sure that just like the freaking Samsara cycle in Sumeru, I would be locked and wouldn't be able to do co-op until I finished the prison portion. And then I found out oh, that, I, no, I, you, you could just teleport out of prison. Yeah. This is, th th this is not really the best secured prison. <laughs> not gonna lie. If you're able to teleport, this is not the best. This is not the best place. Ugh. Really is not. Oh yeah, I have not told you both, Fradix and Ryu. I have pulled my very first five-star character. Oh, which one did you pull? So I was going for the, you know, the uh, the sword dude from the banner. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't the sword dude. You lost I got... fifty-fifty. All right, which one? Uh, Mo. Uh, Mona. Yeah, I pulled Mona. That is who I lost my 50-50 to. Well, okay, so I'm not the only one. I was kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, so Mona is a decent support character, um, which isn't bad. I know on the next banner coming out, we're going to have Navia and um, Ayaka. Yeah, I know one of them's new. One of them, one of them is new, and the other one has been yes. in there before. The uh, the golden character, the Geo character, is new. I kind of I don't know what she can do. I don't I haven't seen any trailers for well, her. Well, her burst has cannons. Well, and it's already a character that I want. <laughs> yeah, she's a claymore user. Um and already a an already a better toy. <laughs> well, she's sorry. a pretty major character for uh the Fontaine storyline for the first couple parts at least. Okay. So it'd be, so it would be good to get her. She's less important for the prison bit, but, like, for the non-prison bit, she's a pretty important character. Okay. And then the other character... That is actually Sword Boy's sister. Oh. She also uses a sword, except she uses ice. And she walk on water. No. Dang. But... <laughs> Um, it's okay, though. her sprint, she turns into literal ice. Oh, so, oh. if you if you go full sprint, you can sprint across the water as a little thing of ice. And when you unsprint, it freezes the water because you were ice. That's actually very cool. I'm not gonna lie. Now, <laughs> I, I will say, I'm pretty sure the ice doesn't last for long on the water. So I wouldn't go trying to cross oceans for this. Yeah. Sad. But just like crossing <laughs> a little river, absolutely go crazy. Uh, yeah, th 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 that's what we're gonna do. I'm already having fun with uh, with with Mona's sprint. With with. with oh yeah. With so Mona's basically, sprint. it is Mona's sprint, but ice. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I I feel like I need to get her because I do. I I do. I do want. I do want more sword characters. You're gonna have to pick between either her or the the Claymore girl coming out. Which, when they both come out, before you decide who to pull, I would recommend doing the little character trials first. You can decide who you like more. Gotcha. 
I will do that. Oh, I wonder what four stars are going to be on the banner. I wonder, well, too. Way to find out. Let me check here. I'm just glad I finally got my first five star character. I'm just very. I'm, I'm glad it was Mona. I'm kind of sad it was not the Luke. I'm not going to lie. I feel that. I want the Luke. I want the Batman of the game. Give me the Batman. <laughs> Click on the preview it's... for Roses and Muskets and see who they have the... Uh, Chevalrous, I guess, is going to be on... Who is this? Who are you? I have a random tab open on Twitch and I don't even know who that person is. Anyway. Okay, um... <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. So, boosted on the banner, the first run. We're going to have Sucrose, Candice... And Rosaria. And now they want to give oh. me Candace after I already worked on a lunch. Fuck these people. <laughs> they're their friends. You friend. could, always, okay, you could always put them together. Most hydro characters are a health build, so having two hydro characters together on a team could help. Yeah. That's Note true. to self. Note to self. Bring back. Uh, bring back my uh, main. My, my main water boy. <laughs> Note to self. Need to, need to do that. No, I've I've actually been enjoying the story, especially I think my favorite one so far of the side story has been the Luke's one, the dark the dark hero. That the Batman. Awesome. The Batman. Ayaka, does Ayaka not have her own signature weapon? Does she not? She does. It's the it has the electro symbol from what I've seen. Yeah, mm. no, it just, it doesn't look like it matches her character at all. It feels more like something yeah, the Ryzen Shogun would use. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, like, for the oh, Inazuma weird. characters, it really doesn't match their character at all, but I've seen their, like, oh, splash art with those oh. electro symbol weapons. Oh, oh. oh, okay. Okay, so the event, they're gonna have a four-star weapon called Ultimate Overlord's Mega Magic Sword that's a playmark. Oh, sorry. Just talking about it. <laughs> you are good now. Of course, they'll drop crowns. Um... Oh, no. Oh no, I have to complete Purina's story quest to do this event. Oof. What what do you have to do for this for this event? What do they you have? have to complete you have to be adventure rank 20 or above. Complete Archon Quest Prologue Act 3, Song of the Dragon and Freedom. That's pretty much the prerequisite for most events now. Um, complete Archon Quest Chapter 4, Act 5, Masquerade of the Guilty. Complete Raiden Shogun story quest and Purina story quest. Oh. It's unfortunate for new players are gonna miss out on like oh. a bunch of oh. events because they're not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be kind of. I'm gonna be very sad, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. I joined in very late. But very late. Oh my god. But they should still like. They're gonna be that. bringing back another yeah. one of those events where you can get a little sealy pet. Okay. So if you want a little sealy pet, one of those events is gonna be coming out um in January. I can get one of a different color now. I'll just start collecting all the colors. And then they're gonna release the story quest for Navia. I still need to do all the story quests. I need a speed run now that I know I need to complete Fiorina's. They're gonna have another genius invocation event. Another genius. The adventure is booster bundles. That's money, money. I don't care about that. Uh, Rio, I'm kind of stuck. Like, what else do I do for coupons? Because I walked around and I see no quest pop up on the minimap. Um, did you, did you read, did you read the little thingy? Did you read the blackboard? Oh, shit. Uh, I didn't. Because that gives you hints on where to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
The battle pass is great for getting weapons. I really need to look into getting a bunch of these. I start looking at the battle pass. I'm like, mm, look now, at all these good weapons that I can have. Money like, is not I'm worth not it ready. unless you hit rank 30. Once you hit rank 30, if you pay for it, you can get a weapon of your choice. But only at rank 30. So I would not pay for it unless you hit rank 30. I'm not... Uh, I'm not ready to even even put in that grind. I'm 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 still I'm still barely struggling with the regular stuff. Yeah, well, stuff it's here. just yeah. It the weekly stuff gives you more than the daily stuff. So if you even just want to do the weekly quests, some of them are really easy. Like cook twenty things. You you could do that in one day if you wanted to. Just cook twenty things. Um, the you have some that are a little bit harder, like yeah. oh, we ten bosses or something. But yeah. hmm. need to become a little more stronger so I don't struggle with these bosses. I know I have been struggling with them a little bit. Am I like completely lost? I can't find this place. Is that okay? I can't figure out because is that a skin or is that not? A skin? <laughs> As you're looking. Hello. Hello. Mm. <gasps> I finished. Uh -huh. I finished. I finished, Dale. Oh. Okay, zero People are finished. saying that's a skin for Zhongli, but I don't know if it's a skin because nowhere does it say it's going to be a skin. So what do you think, Zero? What do you think? I love it. <laughs> Alright, I'll send it to you so you can do testing uh, when you can. Yeah, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can do these testing style. And it can be like, you know what? It, 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 it. Now, hear me out. It's just mm -hmm. me. I, 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 I. And now, after replying to what I posted earlier, I like all of these things too. It's just me. I see myself. It's great. <laughs> there are people in the comments complaining about being. The fact that all of the characters that they that are four stars on the upcoming banners they have C6s of. Really? And then there's Why one of them complaining that freaking Star Rail gets a free five star. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a free five star. It's an image character. Yeah, when, whenever whenever that character comes out, I'm absolutely updating Star Rail and grabbing him. I I, I would say definitely it's worth like I I, I like because that's not that's not out yet, right? They, they no, done that yet. Okay. no, that's not yet. We we have to we're going through. That's gonna be right after the uh, the first patch. I don't know when it's coming, but they when when they did like a whole like launch trailer to explain the patch, they did show a little bit of the new world. Yeah, just um, l let me know. Let me know when it does, because I'm absolutely going to update Star Rail and immediately go in and grab him. Trust me. You and me both. <laughs> like, me, me and Lunar are like, nope, that's a free five-star. I don't even need to pull in his banner. I, I, I'm just going to I'm just gonna go for his card. At that point, like, no, I just need one. One done. <laughs> just give me the one. <laughs> You're enjoying using using me over there, aren't you? <laughs> it is zero hack. Thank you. And people are just like, why am I acting like zero all of a sudden? Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. It's like we're the same. <laughs> Zodix, did you already do the one with the lady with the camera? Mm, well, Let I me did. do this shout Ooh, out and then I can she actually wants to, like, take a picture time. of someone. Picture. I know that's in the production area. But you're on the current level of wherever that blue is, so. 
Yeah, but there's no quest around there, and the hint was telling me the southeast side of the upper level production zone. Oh, yeah, okay, so go back down to the production zone. There we go again, it's not raised here. That's the dorms. Yeah, just just take the elevator back down. Okay. So, there should be a second elevator somewhere on that floor that takes you to the next level of the production zone. And that one should be camera lady. Freaking long goddamn elevators. Oh boy. Pain. Okay, um, yeah. So, I don't remember if it's to the left or it's to the right, but there is another elevator. Actually, that one um, says down. That one goes down, so it's gotta be the other way. Is that looks into this. Yeah, I see the up one in the distance. In the distance. Yeah, there it is. Pretty sure, yeah. <gasps> this was the one where I accidentally unlocked a treasure chest and it told me I was done, but I was able to get more credit coupons by doing the quest anyways. <laughs> Because literally all I did was played around with the lights to make the little thingy light up so I could punch the punching bag. Oh my I'm goodness. assuming you mean this thing. Yeah. Because... If you mess with it, you can get a treasure chest. Just, you know, the typical transfer the energy type thing. I don't even know necessarily that the extra coupons even helped, but like... I don't know that you're gonna meet it. You might. I only need like 20 more, so should be fine. I know. Well, I mean, bonus coupons is bonus coupons because you keep what you earn. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so. I suppose this will do. So I just found the lady anyways and did the quest anyways. Cause why not? Oh, her. Yeah. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> she doesn't have anything. It's not marked, but... Oh, well, yeah. like, that's why. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'll be right back. Gotcha, buddy. Okay. Got you, Dale. Writer. Okay. What is this? Oh. <laughs> Oh. A Christmas Carol published a hundred eighty years ago. <laughs> oh goodness! That it's been a hundred eighty years. A hundred eighty years. It's been eighty years. Dang, I'm old. <laughs> I need to work on my secret Santa. It's getting so close. It's down to the wire. I still don't even have gifts for my family. I'm doomed. Headpats? Big headpats. It's just the struggle of not knowing what to get them, but then also not having the time or money to go out and get the thing. I feel that. So, like, I, 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 the vast majority of my gifts this year is just random nitnoid things that I bought to, like, shove in the stockings. Mostly candy. Because I can't afford actual presents. Even though I'm working like seven or eight hours um, for each of my shifts this week. Still not enough. My goodness. At least yeah. you're trying your hardest, Dio. Oh, today, today, technically yesterday now, was a eight and a half hour shift. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Wow. Jesus. Yeah, it was a very hefty shift. My feet hurt by the end because I was standing in the same spot all day. That just reminds me when I, uh, okay, I actually, I have my work tomorrow and I have to do some, uh, feet pile. 
Now, if this wasn't a secret Santa, I'd show y'all what I was working on, but secrets are secrets. <laughs> you, you, we have to respect the secret. We're gonna do sleepy one. Oop! Okay. Alright. And with that, that is all done. Now, I'm gonna, you know, I'm jumping all over the place. I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally running. Let me see. Let me see if I can get both of your stuff open at the same uh, I said, like, I definitely need to fix it, because, dear god, um, look at this. Uh, what is the uh, uh, get back to... <laughs> Hold on, are we having... Okay, there we go. <gasps> Oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. As your teeth. Apparently <laughs> the it is like phasing out for some reason. This is some I only imagine this is the, the, the This is like me just trying to hold like my human form and Okay, we, we got some problems like uh don't mind the teeth going through like the uh you know, machine or anything. It, it, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hoping after I do this, it fixes itself. Hmm. <laughs> it should, Dio. I believe it. Welcome back, Brannis. I see you there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I see my buddy Fradix playing the good old Genshin. Like, I know what. It's like, you know, this uh, December 20th. Uh... The 23rd for the Secret Santa, but just like now, I'm curious who were you got? <laughs> uh, that's why it originally has, I think. Let's see, 23rd, which would be. Wait, did I write that right? Hold on. I feel like I'm a very blessed man this year because I usually uh, would have I to work Christmas Eve either way. and New Year's and New Year's Day, yeah, but I, I have all of it off this year. I'm very, I'm very happy about it. Uh, that's but that's like for the meeting, uh, Ryu. If you like need more time, then obviously. Do... I, don't know. I remember making a comment that I was gonna be like a little bit late to the meeting because I got off of work at like five thirty or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take your time. There's no rush, and plus, yeah, if... it takes me thirty to forty-five minutes to drive home from work. Hopefully, I can go to the meeting and not have my dad be a little baby about it like he was today when I wanted to go hang out with my friend for their birthday subathon. My goodness. I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He gets upset when nobody wants to watch TV with him. Because oh. they have other things to do in their lives because he's retired and no one else in the family is. Oh, wait, I didn't say. Yes. Yeah, so my sister is like, I have to grade papers, and he's like, oh, blah, 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 how dare you need to grade papers? Blah. My goodness. Yeah, so today I was like, I'm gonna go hang out with my friend, and then I hang out with my friend, and then I'm done hanging out with my friend, I'm like, oh, I can watch TV now, and he's all like, oh, boo, 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 we can't do it tonight, it's too late, maybe tomorrow, and I'm like, well, tomorrow, I don't get home until after 10, because I have work that doesn't let me go until, like, 9.30, so I'm gonna get home after 10, and then he's all like, fine then, we'll watch it next week, it's like, dude, calm down. Wow. Yeah, he's a little bit of an. Uh, honestly, I hate to say it. He he's a little bit of a toddler when it comes to watching TV. From what you have told me, yeah. Yeah. Daddy's 
Let's oh, get it is, dead. it is to the point that my sister is borderline done with ever watching TV again. Oh, wow. Yeah, because he you makes it feel like a job. It's between these specific hours, you must watch TV. It's not just a relax, sit down, and we happen to watch television type of deal. It's a sit down, eat dinner, and you must watch television for X amount of hours, or else you have not met your quota and therefore cannot leave. My god. Yup. Yeah, I feel that one. Especially with my family members, some of them. Yeah, this is why my dad was so shocked, because he read off the list of shows that everybody would watch, because he'll forget, so he keeps asking, so he had to make a list of who watches what shows. And I only had, like, three shows on the list. And he was all like, wow, we really don't watch much of anything together, do we? And it's like, nope. I basically just don't watch any live-action television anymore, aside from a handful of shows. I only watch anime. And that's essentially it. Mostly because I'm just kind of done with writing nowadays. Just a lot of the shows nowadays just aren't good. I also feel that. Yeah, even if they start out good, they get a little monotonous. So yeah, that's the whole thing. Jesus. <laughs> they just come back with two mil? <laughs> PC face work with me. Two million coupons. Also, zero. <laughs> you like to be a bunny? <laughs> zero being a bunny. Well, I'll be. I mean, you're wearing the like uh, you'll be wearing your own version of the bunny suit. <laughs> Well, I don't mind being a bunny. No, I was kidding. I was kidding. I was kidding. I'm not gonna do that to you. I, know, I don't mind being a bunny. Well, I'm curious, so for like you being a wolf. Here we go. No. Big ears. <laughs> now satisfied. <laughs> just kind of okay. I become so. Let me do this messaging thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah. This is not what I, I need to do. The audacity. I just wanted to look at the picture, please. The audacity. How dare you, sir? I slap you with a glove, uh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How could I forget? Hold on. That's there. Is that also here? I'm just muttering incoherently to myself. Um... You're good. Uh -huh. this, this is what I wanted to see. Oh, there's straps there. Oh. <laughs>Pixels, thank you for the raid. It's good to see you, man. Is this a wolf zero? I'll yes, be yes, right yes. back, guys. For those who don't know me, my name is Thrax. I'm a white knight VTuber. Work in progress. 
Uh, I stream a variety of games. I need to put that under control a little bit and have a sip of coffee. How you doing, guys? How you doing, Hangry Pixels, man? It's been a while. I'm doing great. Just hanging out some. Grab my hands up a little bit. I'm really trying to. Read a dad joke. Catch up on story content here because I. Did you hear I about the cow who jumped over barbed wire? It was utter destruction. How was your stream, by the way? Last playing Zero Silver at. Okay. I don't think I've heard of that game. But anyway, let me get back in call. And at least I don't think so. See? All right, back. Sorry. Welcome back. You're good. I was just doing the whole spiel. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. And thank you for mm. shouting him out. Mm -hmm, Joey, mm -hmm, best mod. Mm -hmm. Nah, you best mod. The game frustrated me more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know those kinds of games. But hey, man, if uh, you or any of your any of the raiders are, are tired from a long day stream, definitely get some rest. Eat up, have some yes. snacks. All that good stuff. And it's definitely Same. good seeing you. Work with me. <gasps> Finally. It's not doing the thing. <laughs> You know, I can deal with that. <laughs> oh my god, the phone is turned on. Is the fan going when it's cold outside? In what way does that even make sense? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna be off. I, I, I. Allow me! Retribution! Make sure there was like at least this one's like the only one doing the cheap thing, but other than that, it's, it's looking pretty good. I do like it though. That's in the end of the cat. Need some help to save that up. I can at least give you like uh at least give you two options. I say up too, because I at least know them a little, but at the same time like I need to definitely want to see if you can actually pick up this thing too. Um, this game is nice for you. Retribution! But after that, I'm gonna probably go to bed. That's fine. I'm gonna at least go offline for tonight. These are about to get dicey. Busted! Oh. Oh, 
until you finally yeah, saw it. Okay. Yeah, fun yeah. fact. That's what I freaking guessed. Really? Yes. I looked at Quiet. the accessories on the clothes and I went, surely he can't be one of those people. I never would have guessed. I saw the freaking, the, like, the, the accessories, like, this little thing that's, like, tangling off of his shorts, and that was what made me guess that. I don't even know how I came to that conclusion. Allow me! My brain has been just that extent, like... Ha! Ha! Interesting. Finally, you get a friendly hilly trail to talk to. Retribution. Good rest of your stream, Drax, and everyone have a wonderful night. Good night, Joey. Right, good night, good Joey. night, Joey. It was fun to hang out with y'all. Good, good night. Mm -hmm. Have a good oh, night, you bro. You too, big bro, but if you need anything about, like, questions, me and Luna can answer them to the best of our abilities, so, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. I will let y'all know that. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think you meant, like, uh, Drax, because I think he uses BC face also. Yes. Yeah. But, but yeah, a lot you of know, people to talk to. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> you have number number of people to ask. <laughs> I'm about the only person here you can't ask. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and I think Wolfie. I don't think Wolfie has a 3D model. Do you? No, not at all. I would like to get one in the future, but right now, no money. So no, no way I'm gonna gonna do it anytime soon. Yeah. Understand the portal. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna be staying here for too much longer myself. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. But with that, I'll be going. Bye bye. And bye bye. Bye bye. Because yeah, I know, I know, I want to at least take care of some stuff. I gotta continue working on the, uh, on the on the thingy. <laughs> yeah, of course, the thingy. Thingy. Sure, I gotta work on that. Um, or as much as I can, and then also prepare myself for Xenoblade Chronicles Two, the actual game. Yeah, Xenoblade. It's my god, this game. My god. <laughs> I, I, I still, I still don't know how to feel. Right? <laughs> I don't know how to feel. <laughs> I don't know if I need to be. You just think you're just getting started. I'm just getting started. That's the first part of the second. And it was freaking the pre, the the prologue to the whole thing. Man, I'm looking for. I wonder if I can actually. You know, I might as well try to take care of it a little bit. Let me see if I can actually get the code. The cold stuff for it. And then... By the way, I bought a book the other day. <gasps> what book did you buy? Ooh. I bought a book for D&D. <gasps> oh, you're gonna DM? You you gonna do a campaign? I'm, I'm working on writing a campaign right now. Let's go! Let's go! It is a fairy tale and folklore inspired isekai. All right, this already has piqued my interest. <laughs> so I'm gonna when people join the campaign, I'm gonna have them make just totally normal human characters, and then have them roll a d4 to figure out how their character gets isekai. We can even become. We can even get the option of Chuck Chan. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> number number four is Strukun. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, so basically, some options give you more benefits than other options. Because, like, the first one, you're summoned to another world. You stay as the human character you made, but, like, you get to pick your class, and, like, maybe you get, like, a special bonus power, because, you know, being summoned gives you some sort of ability. Numero dos is that you accidentally stumble through a rift into another world. Um, you get to pick your class, but you don't get a special ability because you ended up there on accident. But you still remain the human that you made. Number three is you are accidentally smote by a deity who then, as apology, allows you to reincarnate into this other world. So you do not stay the human character you were, and you get to pick what new race and or class that you will have, along with maybe a perk because the deity is like, hey, I'm sorry, my bad. And then, you have option number four, which is Raku, who, when you perish, in whatever inexplicable accident, it doesn't even have to be a truck. You get reincarnated, but you do not get to choose what race you become or what class that you get. It is completely random. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, very now, interesting. Now, wow. in order of fairness, I will let them roll at least three times, and they can pick from the three options that they obtain. So that way, if they have something that they particularly hate, they can choose another option. I'm not gonna be that mean, making them remake an entire character. But yeah, I'm not gonna have, like, anybody roll for stats or anything until we get through the nonsense of, like, how people even get, like, sent over. But yeah, that is the first part. I'm currently in the process of essentially making an entire pantheon because it's gonna be a, its own unique world thing, so I don't want to deal with, like, like, I wanna- I wanna have my own pantheon where, like, each of the deities functions in, like, a way that's specific to this world, so it's its whole own entity. And I wanna make the pantheon as intricate as possible for anybody that wants to be a cleric or a warlock. But yeah, I've been thinking about that a lot. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot of work on it until after the crazy has passed. I do look forward to seeing all this in age. It's going to yeah. be, be very fun. Thing. Same. Definitely going to be really hectic. I have some fun little surprises in store. I'm keeping certain parts under wrap. Because uh, unfortunately, the people that know the secret can't join the campaign. Oh. Oh. Uh, also, they are. And, um, one of them, I told them that if they really wanted to, they could, like, join as, like, an NPC or something. Like, they could cameo if they wanted to. Hmm. And play a character, but, like, because they know the secret, they can't... It would ruin the fun. So... Can't quite... Tell them no. If they want to, like, do something. But I definitely can't tell them, Hey, join! It'll be so much fun. Because they'll, they'll already know what happens. Hmm. 
yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun coming up with ideas that I may or may not use, but world building is going to be my main priority, so like... World building stuff, I could tell people all about world building stuff, that's not an issue. That is definitely not an issue, not from you. Knowing because, you... Because, like, it's not going to spoil the storyline if I tell them world building stuff. It's going to be good. I'm really, I'm working on a very slow brain right now. <laughs> well, that's totally fine. It is late at night. It is... It is. Unnecessarily cold. No, you're not wrong with that. <clears throat> Alright. Let me see here. What do I want to do with the remainder of my brain energy? <laughs> Me, because I, awake at night. I know for a fact I don't think I have the energy to even work on my uh, thingy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to recruit some people to do some NPCs because I can't do a lot of different voices. Like, I can try and put personality into roles, but I can't really do a lot of voices. That. Nah. Like, it'll been... be great practice, though. Oh, Watch by the way, fun turn, fact. Right fun there. fact. Fun fact about my campaign. I will have bullet points for generalized story ideas, but I will write no lines. 90% of it's going to be improv. Oh, wow. Because I know how I want it to start, and I know how I want it to end. The ending is the main thing where if anybody ever figures it out, I have to swear them to secrecy, and then they can't join the campaign as a player. Well, she... Yeah. I told it to a Barnes & Noble employee when I was buying a book, and they were like, Aw, oh, man, I need to tell this to my D&D buddies, because they thought it was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> And now I just get to torment people with that knowledge and never tell them what it actually is. Over. Just, just beautiful. Because they were talking to me and they're like, oh, if you're the DM, destroy all your players if you're not the DM. Try to stay alive. And I was like, ha 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 ha. Huh. See, what I like to do is I don't like to destroy my players. I like to mentally confuse them. I like to play tricks. Play tricks on them, Dale. Yes, I like to play tricks. But anyways, back to the book that I actually bought. So the book that I bought um, has, like, a bunch of different uh, extra um, information for, like, playable character races and also certain monsters and things. So it gives me a wider variety of stuff that I can include. Because the thing is, I have to take existing monsters in the D&D &D universe and somehow convert them to have a more fairy tale setting... Or pick ones that already seem kind of more in line with fairy tales. So, I found something really fun. That I ain't never heard of before. Called a Nightwalker. And I just think he's neat. <laughs> <laughs> um. I feel like he might be a little bit too tough to like pull out right away, but I just think he's neat. I can't- see, I don't know how to scale difficulty because I've never DM'd before is my problem. So, I am petrified 
that my campaign is just going to be too difficult. I hope it's not. I have contingency plans for if it ends up being a little bit too tricky. You know, out of all, out of a lot of the, out of all the D stuff I've been in, I've been in some complicated ones. But no, if if you have contingency plans for it, you should be fine. Yeah, it's it's not really um like complicated. Well, I mean, it is kind of complicated, but it's it's more. I'm just worried that the combat difficulty will be too hard because I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. That's why I, uh... Oh, gosh. Hmm? Oh, no, it's just, um, <gasps> currently drawing and then also talking at the same time. Hmm. I'm gonna do this one. Let's save first. Let's save first. But yeah, um, I'm reading through the little book. I found a couple of little characters that seemed nifty that I could include, but I do have to rework an entire pantheon. Um, I might have to semi-rework the Fae a little bit, to be more in line with fairy tales. Gotcha. Mm. Definitely have to rework probably like some, some devils or something like that. Yeah. But another thing I was gonna do is whoever joined the campaign, I was gonna have them Tell me what their three favorite fairy tales and or folklore things were. And then I was going to randomly pick one and assign it to their characters and use it in their character stories and developments. That'll be cool. I like, like that. that. Yeah, so, that like, for example, cool. if someone was like, oh, yeah, I really liked um, King Arthur. I might give them a storyline where there's, like, a special weapon or something that's, like, hidden somewhere or like some sort of birthright or something like they're king to some fallen nation or something like that just you know like inserting that i have two characters that i by default will, pl will be playing one of them will be slightly more active than the other one they're both named grim oh, grim let's call me grim <laughs> One is Grim with one M, one is Grim with two M's. One of the Grims is not actually Grim. One of the characters is a, uh, I don't know what this one is. Could Wait, be yes. different I'm gonna type. have a lot of fun with that. I can't wait for me to hope that people that I'm playing with don't figure out what I'm doing. Also, I might be running two campaigns at the same time. Oh, fun. Yeah, I at might alternate. Well, I'm thinking about like alternating weeks. So like everybody gets a break in between, but me with my crackhead energy, I don't want to take a break ever. So <laughs> while I might do Wednesday one week for one group, then the next Wednesday for the other group or something like that. All I know is that it's gonna have to be a weekday because it can't be a weekend because I am never free on the weekends. It doesn't work. Fair. This is gonna be a little it's a bit tricky. When I'm drawing here. But yeah, no no petitioning for people to join my little D&D campaign until I actually get some. Ideally, I'll get someone to play that was at one point a DM so that I could maybe go hey help <laughs> <laughs> if you like, can you help me out please? So what am I need to do? I need assistance I am the big silly and I don't know what I am doing must help the reef. <laughs> Only how many more hours until this until these banners are gone? Really sad I couldn't get Azura. I, I'm really sad. Uh, Ayato? Yeah. yeah I really I really wanted him. <laughs> 
but it's okay. When he comes back again, I know it's not going to be for a long while, but when he comes back again, I will gun for him. By then, I bet I'll be far. I'll be very. I bet I'll be fodder in the game. So, at the pace I'm going, it's a very slow pace. But I'm trying to get all the other small quests done. Well, the ones I can do before it takes me to like an uncharted area, then I have no idea where. Uh, what did I want to do on here? Got other stuff I want to do. And then I have six of these to do a pool, but I want to wait until I can get more to do ten pools. A more of a ten pool type of guy. Another ten pool. Yeah. Except I don't. For when I do. I don't know what's the <laughs> smartest move for ten for this one because I'm still t I'm still brand new to this. I don't I want to see ten pull out a smart move, but I'm not an expert. Okay, <laughs> so the way the pools work is every ten pools, you're guaranteed at least one four star. You would think that that means that you have to do a ten pool, but you actually don't. So I impatiently spam every single one of my pools. It's just for an accumulated amount of 10 pools, you will be um, guaranteed a four star. And then by the rare chance, you'll get like a five star. Like, by like yeah. the highest, highest. Yeah. And then um, the more you pool, the more pity you have. Although you lost your pity in 50-50, so. I'm very sad that I lost my, but I'm. I was also sad, and then I started wailing with money. You know, that might just be me in the future, but you know... Was I a no... little sad? Yes. I did not want to spend the money. Personally, money sad. personally, I don't want to do it unless it's a character that I actually legit. Yeah. This character, I want it. You see, the only problem is, it's Christmas time. Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah. That's like... That's like... Mmm, can't really do it. And I know once Christmas is done, I have to begin the process of rebuilding my money. <laughs> Which, luckily, I just gotta get one more gift, and that's my older sister's. I know what she wants. Uh, so that makes things easier. So when I get paid this Friday, I can easily take care of her very quickly. I have to buy gravel. I'm gonna buy the gravel. I have to buy the gravel. Oh, no thing. And then I have to maybe get the gift card. Just something. Hmm. I'm actually very tempted now to just use these six gems that I have. These are uh, for the regular banner. Standard, I mean. But then again, I'm like... Standard pools don't count towards the characters, the special character banners. That's its own entity. Yeah. So, even if you do pull on them separate, it just... That one, you can really decide on your own whether or not you want to wait for a 10 pool or not, because the standard banner doesn't go anywhere. It's pretty much just the main banners here. These main banners are like. God, if only I had enough. Pull cool, one more time. It's okay. All right, might as well make. Let's let's make a new team here. Quick. A team that I know I can. I can use and I can be okay with. Uh, let's go back to team one. Actually, not. We'll, 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 we'll upgrade team two. And then the well, we can switch you up for. Okay, so this team will be fine. Now there is a weapon that I do want to make. But we do have a sword for it. I just don't have the material. What sword are you trying to make? I'm trying to make one of the 
Mondstadt, so it's maybe like a prototype uh, Archon Blade or the uh, White Blend. I'm trying. I'm trying to make White a clay morph. Prototype Amber. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm. I'm trying. I'm trying to make one of them for uh, my Claymore me user. If not. I. I don't know if I should make the. Uh, Who's your primary Claymore user? Um. It's been a mixture between a. Uh, I do. Or um. I, I, I don't think I said her name right. I'm bad with names. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Or Noel. Okay. So. If I'm remembering them correctly, prototype is good for Beto because it's more of a it, it's either a physical damage or attack based weapon. I think I might be wrong. Um, but white blind is definitely better for Noel because that's the sword that I use on my Noel now. Okay, so can I know this? Can I know these? These are gonna be my mains until I like I decide to work on someone else. Cause I already, I think I already have the best weapon for uh, my main water user, which is uh, what is your name again? Zhangku. Uh, Xingqiu. Xingqiu, yeah. I need to actually. <laughs> Words zero. You know, they're, they're they're always hard. <laughs> it's it's Chinese. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, because I actually, I actually have his sword. I have the sacrificial sword for him. I already had it. And when, and when I went to go look, isn't bad. It helps reduce cooldown. Other than that, it it was one of the swords that when I went to go look at builds, it, it was like recommended. One of the main swords that was recommended. So I'm like, okay, I rather give you this since it's one of the swords that was recommended. <laughs> yeah, mine has the flute right now. You had the flute. <laughs> the flute. The flute. The flute. The flute. The flute. And then I think after that, it's just me yeah, trying to just get them better, like equipment. Since I'm now able to do some of the some of the stuff now, I just reached like world rank. Well, I finally reached world rank two, and that was yesterday. And I'm at adventure rank 25, so I'm able to do some of the dungeons. Or one of the dungeons? You could probably at least get four star artifacts. Maybe th I I wouldn't be doing the domains for artifacts until you can at least get four stars. Because at this point, four stars are the only thing that's worth it. I wouldn't raise the level of three stars too high unless you don't have a choice. No, I've actually been trying to get by okay with with, with, with not raising them to some yeah. to some, to some degree. It It'll take you a hot minute before you can get enough five-star artifacts to actually be okay to ignore the four-star artifacts. So, if you get some decent four-star artifacts, raising those wouldn't be too bad. Okay. I know that's still a plan. I also did a Wolf Boy's quest, so now I'm able to fight the... Uh... The weekly boss? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I know Me Animo Traveler... Really Animal Traveler uses uh, materials from Devalin, which is like literally the only weekly boss that you have to fight alone. You can't do co-op. Bruh. Bullshit. It's, yeah, it's pretty gross. Well, luckily, Devalin's not one of my main targets. <laughs> well, I'm still learning, and I'm still trying to figure out who's going to be in the main team. Noel well, will take all the materials. Son of a bitch, though. Only after a while, you can level up the talents a little bit before you have to start getting weekly bosses. I think that's another thing I am trying to figure out. How do I level up your talents? So mostly in the beginning, they're going to take booklets. Must compl must be character ascended phase two to level up. Okay. Yeah. And you you're not. You need to send them at least a very specific amount before you can do that. Okay. So I do have, I think, at least the character that I know I'm mainly using, having the one star send. So I need to work on getting them to the next star. Which is just me using the oh. Oh, I didn't know I had enough to, to get my travel up there. Okay, okay fantastic. Okay, so, 
the way Traveler works is if you do your adventure rank, if you get your adventure rank awards, they give you the materials. Ah. So outside of maybe the last materials, which I think is going to be the Hilly Churl masks, they kind of just give them to you. I'll be dang. I do need to do some more of them so I can get some of them up there now. So it's just the fact of me figuring out. Okay, the lightning. I know where I have to go to get the lightning materials, but fighting that thunder cube has proven to be pretty difficult. If you want help, you're at an I adventure rank where I could pop in and I could help. I would love the help, actually. Okay, let I me close out the program. Let me at least go to the restroom and grab some water before we do this. Yeah, that's also, fine. I wasn't out of my art program because I finished the line art. And also, the Luke. On Fanix's is being. It's the Batman. It's Batman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and also with so, that sword that he has. Fanix. How yeah. annoying was it to get there? <laughs> A wee bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I personally think it was immensely worse than the first stealth mission. Wait. By the way, fun fact some of those will be blocked off until you, like, deposit the thing. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like now that you all tell me this is gonna be a problem. Wait, uh, uh, I can I, see. Oh, wow. I yeah, gotta, yeah, wrong yeah, I gotta, yeah. I gotta yeah, repair yeah. for that. I don't think I'm ready for this. Oh, that's that's way in the future. No, there there are some stealth missions that are annoying as crap. This is one of them because the little flying balls will chase after you and explode if they catch you. However, you can trick them into exploding into walls. Oh, shit. Let me see. I'm going to at least ascend my Traveler real quick. Because I know Traveler is going to be a main part of my team for quite a bit until we get more people. You can just run. I, I just ran. I just ran and I just disposited the thing. Yeah. And then... So I think the next thing I'll grind out for will be the money. We'll I do would... A mixture between money yeah. And money and books. Yeah, th those are always really, really hard to get. By the way, Thradix, no matter how many times you try to memorize the layout of the maze, it, it will not change. work. It doesn't change, but it is so chaotic to actually freaking remember how to get to the goddamn place. My goodness. Like, it took me a good few tries to figure it out. Anyways... Go ahead, uh, go, go, zero. Yeah. yeah, let me go do that, and then I'll be right back, and I get to play some Genshin for you. Hell yeah, yeah Genshin party. Genshin party time. Let me go take care of that, and I will accept the invitation when I get back. Oh, they're forced. Yeah, this is another one of those quote-unquote stealth missions that I brute force my way through, because if you just spam sprint, you can pretty much get past them. Thanks, Gon. Gon. There we go. Easy win. I think you can tell who I wanted to murder. Ah, uh, yeah. I was so enraged. I wanted this man gone. We're gonna take his ass, right? All right. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I was frustrated because we just didn't get the the first time. And they still were like, oh, you're going back to prison. Like, what do you mean I'm going back to prison? Yeah, I was like, we can take him. Oh. No, he's good. He's broken. <laughs>
Meanwhile, that guy made it up pretty high on my list of NPCs I actually really like now. And when I make when I make my little my little Genshin merch, I I might make a little keychain of him. Yeah, he's definitely a bro. I like him. Yeah, because I I've already determined I'm going to have three star characters, and those are just going to be the NPCs. Really memorable NPCs. Yeah. And I'm gonna try to make them look unique, even though their character models all look, like, identical. Because that's super annoying. It would be great if, like, maybe when they get towards, you know, finishing the game, they can go back, revisit, and refocus on maybe making some of the more memorable NPCs look a little different. Because Hoyo is literally using side quests to joke about how all the NPCs look alike. Because I literally just went through one today. Where he's like, oh, I can't take off my glasses because then I'll, nobody will know who I am. And then the traveler just has the option to say, yeah, everybody does kind of look the same. Oh, I should warn Vera that there's a pre-install for Guys, I'll be right back. Okay. If I can find my BRB screen. Oh, right, there we go. Alright, I'll, I'll have to try it. Welcome, Welcome back, back. friend. Also, Ryu, I'm ready to receive you now in game. Cool bees. I will be there in a second. We're gonna be fighting the lightning cube. Also, question. Mm-hmm. For weapons to upgrade them, what do I need to do to get the materials for them? Are there a, is there a certain thing I need okay. to do? Because I think that's been one of the next things I've been trying to figure out. Yes, so the way that materials uh requirements for weapons is um one of the materials you will need to ascend the weapon is going to be from a domain and each day the domain is something different so if you click on the material it'll tell you what days the domain is active if you click on the domain ah so like for this one it's the book one for the book it looks like a book. Is it the little slate thing? It's the uh, weapon accessory material. I think it is. Is it the thing that says Decorabian? Yes, Decorabian. Okay, I think that's actually active today. And I can do that to help me get a... Uh, weapon upgrade? Weapon upgrade for my main... Yeah, Mo Mona. For my main character at this well my main character i'm gonna be focusing on with but i don't think it would be it would be good to take her into the uh thunder thing <laughs> i don't think that would be no well. hydro doesn't do super well against that i think the best elements to take in against an electro are dendro and cryo dendro and cryo uh yeah yeah because i have hydro and she is also hydro which I can actually bring both. I think I can... Okay, so I'm going to switch out Traveler for Noel then. Because that Well, is... I mean, you no, can make no, Traveler that... a different element. Do you want to make Traveler a different element? I've been trying to figure it out. I, I'm at this place, so how do I use this to change you? Okay, so you can't change Traveler right now because you are currently the element for Traveler. 
So you are currently huh. this element, so this isn't going to do anything for you. But if you were to go to, for example, Liyue, and click on their statue, there should be something that says Resonate with Element. And you should be able to use that. Now, if you want a Dendro Traveler, you would have to go to Sumeru for that. Which, if you ever want to go to Sumeru, I can take you there, because it's not long. I don't think it is. I think nope, I, I... it's not. And I know that because I've run there. Uh, I've run all the way to Fontaine on my alt account. And my alt account hasn't even beaten Liyue yet. So... No problems there. <laughs> So what does Traveler do with the Geo? I never used him for Geo yet. Oh, so that's what it Geo, does? Well, Geo's main reaction is Crystallize, which makes shields. Okay. But yeah, Resonate with Element is the thing that changes the element of your, your character. Now, I will say, the downside to this for Traveler is... It gives you a completely different set of talents every time you switch. Which means the new talents that you have will be level zero, level one. Oh. Well, now, this is why it's good to like play around with the different elements and like figure out which one you like. Inevitably, my alt account, because it's a challenge account, is becoming kind of a um, traveler main account. So I have to build all the different versions of traveler, anyways. Oh. Okay, My personal so... favorite is Electro, but the Dendro one is pretty good if you main Hydro characters. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm already not a f Well, I need to see what the ultimate does. I'm kind of... The ultimate kind of makes like a little... I don't know what to call it. Wall? It makes a wall? Um, but you can, you can climb the little geo constructs you make. You can climb those. Okay, yeah, so I can also, it can also help with doing the, um, doing It can the, give uh, you, like, little platforms to stand on, and you can do plunge damage, because you can jump up and then jump down. Yeah, I do like that. Uh, I think that's the only, because I, those are the ones I have right now. I have the one for Geo, and I have the one for Win. Mm -hmm. I don't, the other one, mm -hmm. though, I do, I don't know. Yeah, in that. order to unlock another statue, I could lead you to one. But you would have to temporarily disband co-op in order to access the statue. There's also the one on the icy mountain. That still counts as monstat. Still counts as monstat. Alright, I'm gonna switch yeah. back to my wind. Yep. Wind can do something to Electro. Because technically wind can do something to all elements. But I wouldn't bring the hydro. Probably wouldn't work out too well. Gotcha. So pretty much... Let me see, where are you? I'm floating. Oh, you're float? <laughs> oh my. This is uh, her idle animation. She makes a little swing. Oh, there you are! Yep. That's adorable. Here, let me she see. Also plays hopscotch on a keyboard for her attacks. Wait, what? Oh, you. <laughs> Go away, slime. To be honest, I had those keep popping up and I just ignored them because I was like, what is going on? Where is this from? <laughs> also, sorry for chatting all the way through your little cutscene. No, no, by all means, do keep you, chatting. Do you know the place to go to to actually get to that room with the oh. Nurses and Crews Ordo quest? The room with all the mechanisms? Or... The room with the giant clock on the ceiling. I don't remember. I could point it out on a map. Unfortunately, most of this map is obscured. But I have a generalized area. It's, um, right next to the capital of Fontaine. There's kind of like a, um, thingamabob. There's like a little thing that you go down. It's like the... Current? One something the National Research Institute or whatever. It's like an underwater ruin thing. You go in there for a quest. 
And then if you get to the very end where they had like a hydroculus behind a glass wall, if you go back there, there's a book. And if you read the book, it takes you to a room. Okay. So if you want to see Caterpillar again, you have to go to that room. Okay. okay. All right. Do you want to get weapon stuff or do you want to get boss stuff? Boss stuff would be a okay. thing. I don't know how hard the weapon stuff will be. It's just the the main thing about that is that it's timed. That's about it. Oh. Where'd you go? Oh, I teleported. Oh, okay. You teleport over here. Okay. Ho oh. ho. Ryu the teleporter. That's nice. That's lovely. I did a nice little bit of damage right there. Bonk. Bonk. By the way, you see the little green? They were linked Ooh. together. Oh. Which means if you did elemental damage to one, it would affect both of them. Oh, that's... That's perfect. Also, that. also, look look at this. Look at this sweet flower. Watch this sweet flower. You looking at it? Which which flower am I looking at? The one that. Oh. This, this direction. Okay, watch it. Mm hmm. Mine. <gasps> wow. <laughs> she easy just says, "Oh, that's flower." Give me. Yeah, she um she literally uses computer stuff. Like she cuts and pastes things into your inventory, but only plants. I love it though. That actually, that's that's cool. <laughs> She also, uh, her charged attack is a drag click, and she's hot, her hot, her animation is she's on a keyboard. She's hopping on a keyboard. Hmm. It looks like hopscotch, but th it's a little bit chunkier than hopscotch. It's just hard to tell in the grass. Wow, that's, yeah. that's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Alrighty. Want me to put up the shrine of? Oh. Oh, sorry, I can't aim. Oh yeah. Um... Now oh my God. We Jesus. I know he. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna go that quick. This is what I'm saying, Dendro. So you have to use elemental reactions to get rid of these. Oh. Yeah, there you go. I didn't realize she was going to take it out so quickly. Holy, I have not seen a boss get down that quick before. <laughs> Good lord almighty. Are these elemental- ooh, this is a crit. Oh yeah, sometimes it'll drop um artifacts. And the higher your world level goes, the higher the artifacts that it'll drop. Like my my world rank, it drops five star artifacts. Okay, so I'm assuming when I get to like a higher rank. Right now I'm I'm only I only just hit two. So I'm assuming once I beat the next door I'll be able to Yeah, either either three or four it might start dropping four star artifacts. I'm not hundred percent sure which one it is. So, so Maybe. just so this these free stars will do for now, cause yeah, Nahida might be a little bit too much. I mean, but yeah, if you wanna, so both both Jesus. the bosses and the the domain are gonna take resin, so we can investigate and see. Oh, let me so, see. So, um, if you open this map, this thing over there yeah. that says Musk Reef, um, on, is. Second. One second, Tayo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, so map. So, okay. Yeah, it's so a thing that says unknown on the map. It's just a little orange bubble that says unknown. So that over there, when you unlock it, is the spiral abyss. And by getting to certain points in the spiral abyss, you can actually unlock certain characters for free. Should I go unlock this now? It looks like it's all great. Oh, I can out. tell you how to get there. Okay, how do we get there? Yeah, you have to get to certain floors in the Spiral Abyss. So think of it like a dungeon. Like a dungeon? Yeah, like, you know, RPG fantasy game dungeon. Okay, bet. 
So you can use certain characters to go up on certain floors. And I think around mo most of the rewards I think you get are on like the third floor or the fourth floor. You also get a lot of Primo gems for doing that. All right, now this one's really easy. If you look directly up from here, there's a weird swirly blue bubble in the sky. I, <clears throat> I definitely, I didn't want to interrupt. But yeah, that's the end of the quest line for Unfinished Comedy. I wanted to get that quest out of the way before I end stream. I'm still going to do some like um, other Genshin stuff because I still feel a little awake. So, yeah, I probably get some snacks too. But anyway, thank you for the raids. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate the love and support you all give me. So, and it's really good to be back. So anyway, uh, I doubt anyone's on. Yeah, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna end it. Um, because I doubt anyone I follow, even our night owls, are online. So, or maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, let me check at least. Fart. Nah. Fart. Nah, fuck you, bruh. Ain't no way. Oh, never mind. From, from the beginning. Oh, they're only two hours in? I don't know how long he usually streams. Well, we're gonna share the love to, uh... The friendly yeah, platypus. She had a heart because I need her to feel the warning in your head. Let me get back to the <laughs> <laughs> a little bit special because I have a higher constellation on him. Connection. Which is why his final attack does this. But yeah, you should. Uh, I, I'm giving to you. That's either a higher constellation level or it's a certain ascension level. I don't know which it is. But either way, um, this is the max level of this sword. It becomes purple. You did show me that before, and I do like on how its max level is purple. Yeah, when you pop his ultimate, it makes a little bubble, and all physical damage in the bubble becomes ice damage. Oh shit. So that Just means if you're attacking with Singsho <laughs> and the bubble's down, Singsho's physical damage will do ice, and then if you do the blades yeah, at the, the same time, side. it'll you be hydro it. damage, and then it'll freeze opponents. So they're a really good combination. Yeah, I good got to know. Open that thing, so. Took me a while to get the name right. A crisp item Just the blue now, bubble. Yeah, you can trust yeah, yourself to the that bubble. Really sucks. Hopefully it stops soon so you can be paying for anyway, it. Anyway, thank that's you all for watching. Thank you for the raids once again. Did you yeah, we're gonna go check out the friendly yep, platypus. One of the many besties Did we have here at the like Crystal Den. Oh, Colt taking gold key from so, using magic I'll see you next stream, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, next stream, I'll probably yeah. do more of that um yeah. clip studio paint line. thing yeah. abomination <laughs> and actually get it done. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll play by air and see. But anyway, have a good night, everybody. And take care. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I gave you laser, so just press a G to group with you. So he will walk with you. Yeah. Now we can go through into the anus. Hey! Fredix! Thank you for the raid, buddy. What's poppin'? What's new? We are nearing the helm. Once inside.